It's Tuesday and Roxy's breaking stuff. <laughs> Welcome back to Collider Live. Full packed house here. Vote, you sons of bitches. Get yeah. out there. Do the polls and do everything you got to do. It's voting Tuesday day, election day. And do the polls. That's the what polls. they always say. Do the polls. Do, uh, yeah. yeah. If you do the poll, then you've done something wrong <laughs> in your parroting. Um, welcome back to Collider Live. I got a full packed house here on this wonderful day. I got Roxy Stryer here. Hello, Roxy. Hey, Christian. How are you? Doing? You're in a good mood, Roxy. Yeah. Oh, man. It's it's like it's you're in a good mood. It's it's it. That's what I said. Yeah. Um, very red for some reason. In the teal is Mr. Brett Sheridan. Oh, yeah, Why are you red. so red? Yeah, your face is red. Did you go tanning last night? No, I've been, I, I've been getting up super early and I've yeah. been working out in the morning. Oh, so maybe okay. I'm nice. just pumped. All right, fresh off of his uh, huh. scrap. But now you've got me worried. Fresh off of his scrap of his apartment complex, Mark uh, Riley. Hello, Mark. Very happy to be here. Did you punch somebody? Uh, they they got some uh, they got some strong words in an in a in an email, in an email. Oh. that they uh, then apologized for when they defended themselves, saying no 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 we gave you a heads up and I copy and pasted oh. and you know said no nope, mm. here it is and they went sorry. All right, well from Collider Sports Time. <laughs> Josh McCuga is here. Yeah. What's up? How man? are you? Good. Man? How are you, Good buddy? Good to see you. Missed right? you yesterday. When I yeah. when I got out of sports time, I was like, "Do you guys want me to come in?" And there was like ninety two people inside here, yeah. so I I, uh, I I passed. I I, I, I I miss being on Collider Live on Mondays. I do. Yeah, it's okay. That's like half. But yeah, I mean, you guys seem to be doing okay without we're, me. We're doing alright, but it's always yeah. yeah, it's always nice <laughs> to have you back. By the way, and I'm going to go yeah. into that. The, Roca reacted last night. I took him to the Wreck It Ralph premiere. Yeah, there was a scene that I'll go over in a little bit. Okay, that he reacted to the way, the way you do during horror movies. Really? Yeah, and I'll explain a little later. Okay. Why did you take, Why did you take yeah. Roca? Well, there was three. He was my third choice. <laughs> my daughter was my first, <laughs> but then I realized that it was too late. We would have gotten home late, and she would have been a disaster. Yeah, and like, you don't know of anybody know. with kids that would be interested in a movie like that. So, well, I wanted to go. What do you mean, just take you? <laughs> yeah, just take Jack you. Jackass. Well, you weren't around. You know what? Roca was around, so I apologize. But um, but then Fernandez. Well, shouldn't you go me. see the movie with your kids? No, screw them. <laughs> That's fair. Okay, I mean, so yeah. number number one was number your one kid. was my kid. Number Couldn't two go. was Fernandez. Fernandez, and then he canceled on me day of, oh. which you don't do. Um, but he did. Why? He wasn't, oh, he wasn't feeling good, and then he had some meeting that he probably canceled too. But uh, yeah. I so he had that Vegas flu. He, yeah, it wasn't good. So he, those two things happened. So then Roca, Roca was in. So Roca and I went, went to the movie. Then afterwards had some uh, snacks at the after party. And I liked off. your tweet because it was like Wreck It Ralph. Good explore like you know your classic kind of movie stuff, and you're like take your kids. Like <laughs> it, it, that was a very I could read. I read it just as you would say like take your kids. Take your kids. Yeah, that's it. Yeah. Um, to go Saturday morning. I was gonna go Saturday morning and take so my daughter. So early on a Saturday. To me, that's not no. early. But is that and, the no, Chinese? It's really not. No, oh, Captain. Captain. That's the one when we went to see uh, Incredibles too. Yeah. There's a guy playing an organ at the beginning, right. doing I, a little thing, image. Yeah, da, 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 yeah. Da, da, Go ahead, Rox. What were you saying? Well, I was gonna give the time, but now that we give the location, I feel as if it's inappropriate. <laughs> oh, right. Probably, probably <laughs> well, it is a it. Saturday. Well, they can't get in. Yeah. 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 Um, it's just, it's just a Saturday morning. Getting to Hollywood, you have to give yourself an hour to get there. Yeah. On a Saturday? Yeah, just like the parking, the people well, around there, the touristy at that time. That's true. That's yeah. true. Where yeah. that no, because is. Because the problem is you mm. could try to plan it out in a half an hour, but the problem is if you hit one stretch, you don't know. you're screwed. So yeah. that, yeah, that's the issue. And then, I, you know, I'm a chick, so I get up, I shower, I do my hair, my makeup. Wash it's like your a, face. It's like a three-hour morning effing process. Yeah, so yeah, yeah. yeah. Right. Yeah. I, feel like ben, I, feel like, I feel like Ben takes just as long. Oh, longer. Yeah. Yeah, yeah I wait for, for him sure. way more often yeah. than he so waits for me. get that quaff. Going. Yeah. yeah, I blow dry, I blue dried, I blue drew, I blue okay. drew his hair blow the other dry. day uh, for a costume thing, and yeah. he was like, "Wow, it really gets it up there. Maybe I should start <laughs> doing this." And I was like, "Oh uh, no, don't do that. oh don't. no, yeah, we're guys, adding a step." I'll have to have a talk with him yeah, if, you, if you blow dry his hair I, every day. I'm wondering, like, as somebody who hasn't been able to delegate when I get up for a very long time, what is early for for Roxy? Well, I get up at six thirty every day. Oh, so okay, so that's not bad. Yeah, I was thinking like six thirty. No. Okay. Was like right. a, oh god. No, Six thirty is like legit. Yeah, I, yeah. I remember when I set alarms for things at one p.m. Yeah. that was oh those were those the days. Were the days. I, know, yeah. I know you're not supposed to ask people like what they voted for. But did everybody vote for getting rid of daylight savings? Oh yeah, I'm yes, yeah, right. definitely going yeah. to. Yeah, yeah. Think, which is a, I think it's gone. The question I, you probably but it doesn't matter if we vote for that. It's still it's not our choice. We if that passes, it still has another level to go through. Yeah, yeah. right. So. Who cares? Yeah. Hey, you gotta start wow, somewhere. It just yeah. keeps it getting louder. louder. I don't know why, why I got so loud. What happened? How? Oh, oh, they shut off. They shut off. Now, 
headphones. Now it's too low. Right. Uh, Stop fucking around. Back. It's your guys' headphones. It's we not the actual want volume. Beer now. Yeah, where's we beer now? We are. We're trying to monitor now. the audio. Oh, I see, I see. Just kidding, guys. Uh, All right, everybody, calm down. Um, <laughs> so anyway, the, one of the things though too, I said yesterday, I was confused because I we had gotten my wife and I had gotten these the ballots. We're like, okay, we're gonna mail them in. And cops were scared me yesterday. He goes, you, you can't send them in. You got to drop them off. I was like, are you sure? Like, yeah, you can't send them in. So okay. I went. I wasn't that assertive. <laughs> First, of all, listen, Reap, go back. I'm a millennial. Go back. Don't do not listen to me That's when true. it comes to when it comes to voting. You said it so confidently, though. Yeah, too. I know. You, you like, scared I'm, me. I'm a confident person. You sca- well, you scared me because when oh, you said okay. it, I was like, I was like, shit, I got to drop it off in the morning uh, now. I got to drive my kid to school, and then I told my wife, I, and I, I give her the copster fake confidence when I get home, and uh, I go, I was like, now nah, we gotta, we gotta, you're gonna have to drop them off. She's like, no, you can mail them in. I was, I was like, no, I'm, I'm telling you, they told me it works. She's like, it says it on the thing, hmm. and I, I read it because as long as it's done by today, right? So that's oh, what really? Alex told me. Yeah. So it's his fault. Damn yeah. you, Alex. Is that well, like true? Still can mail mine in. Yep. Mm-hmm. You can still He's mail a human being. He didn't then, even vote. But then how does no, it kidding. work? He voted. Yeah. How does that work then? They just, they, they do the count. I mean, it takes, you know, they count them up and then a week later we'll find out what the hell happened. But yeah. that's not real. We find out pretty quickly though. Yeah, yeah but then, like, then things can happen. Yeah, if, but if, they, do if they? If it gets very they close, can. they could they have to that's why, this get is an f- estimate and count the, the vote and ballots. Uh, yeah. I feel like I never actually heard of that happening. I, for nine years while living here, voted in Massachusetts and was a, a mail-in absentee ballot. Oh, yeah. Yeah. Smart. I feel like it never counted. I don't feel like my vote was ever actually... No, it's counted. It's it, the the problem is is that what happens with absentee ballots and mail in ballots is that what you see on TV is uh, on like instant gratification. Basically, they are still that's As why they say like through. reporting yeah. right. this percentage. And mm-hmm. then what happens if it is a very close race? They go to the things. But if because they they know a percentage of people mail it in, they know what the percentage sort right. of is plus or minus two. So and they, half they know they know. The let's, let's say let's yes. just let's say there's two thousand of these. There's more. Than yes. that, but let's say there's two thousand mail in votes, right? And the guy who's who's in the lead is is in the lead by five thousand. Like, oh, we don't really need to worry right. about the two because the guy won anyway. But right. if it's close, then I feel like well, this year more people than not are mailing in. I agree, but I th- but that's well that goes to Makuga's point that if it gets close, then they're gonna really pay attention to all those. Mm-hmm. All do you those remember uh, Bush not. Gore? The, yeah, the, the, the yeah. absentee ballots were very important on yeah. that one because they were wait. They're like oh. We have to wait. Right. We have to count these. I don't think I. I don't think I was eligible at that time. Well, yeah. everybody, you know, you can. So I do feel like there's a lot more people that were able to vote. Um, Remember that, Kennedy, guys? Yeah. <laughs> that was a close one, right? Yeah. Remember? Ted? Well, yeah. that famous, uh, like, Dewey defeats Truman, yeah. like, yeah. Dewey wins, that yeah. the reason for that is because there was a strike in a Chicago printing in a newspaper, and so they just decided to print it early, and they were like, it sounds like Dewey's going to win, we put it out there, and then Dewey didn't win. Yeah, and he's got Pretty that. Cool I love story. that. Yeah, I love yeah. that. It's sure. insane how crazy California's propositions are, how challenging they are to understand. Yeah, you really yeah. got to do the... Holy shit yeah. have I been doing my research. Yeah. We do not have that in Massachusetts the same way. They're very clear, and there's like two of them a year. Yeah, and that's false. But, Massachusetts this year had the number one prop votes in the nation. Wow, twenty three different propositions no on the way. Back. Josh McCook, no, the president. Totally not. <laughs> that's, that's not. I was going to say no way. Yeah, too. It's always that's a good like sell. it's so, very yeah. easy. It's like you just got McCook. <laughs> <laughs> no, it was. It's not true because every year that I've mailed in, it's like pretty easy to understand. This year, the dialysis one, yeah. The, yeah. the EMT one. There's a lot of stuff going on. You got a the yeah. rent control. There's the so chicken many nuggets ones. The chicken nuggets, man. <laughs> number huge. twenty-one. I yeah. saw you. You confused about that one, but I, I ended up yes, chicken nuggets. Okay, you too. Yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah okay. Yes, yeah. chicken nuggets. It, it was kind of challenging. Yeah. Um, Christian's face, like, is there a chicken nugget? One? I was trying to think which one it was, and I said, oh yeah, I remember which one it was. Um, <laughs> yeah, it was challenging. But look, again, I would tell everybody that you go out there, vote, do it. If you're registered, do your role, go and vote. Even um, if you're not registered, just get out just there. Just get out there and vote. Vote on something. Vote on a new lemonade for the for the whole can neighborhood. I, can I tell you my highlight real quick this morning? Sure. Far? Okay. So I was late because I went to vote and then my mother-in-law's in town so we went out to like a really quick breakfast where the service was entirely too slow and I went to think going like I gotta leave, I gotta leave and then I got in my car and I had one mile left to get gas, right? Ooh. And there's that gas Pushing station it. on the corner of Highland and Franklin. You know the one yep. I'm talking yep. about? Oh, yeah, that one So sucks. I pull in there. Er, d- 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 
pit stop in between a, a light to when I pulled in. I was able to fill with gas, get back in my car, wow. and get back well on the done. road. Would you put two dollars in the tank? No, thirty three dollars. Oh, damn. Yeah, Impressive. and I got That's right back up. It was a too. pit stop. Yeah. Yeah. That oh, I it. cut people, three people off just that to get it. through. Were uh, you late? You. I don't feel as if you were. No, I you was, made it right in time. Right in time. Yeah. Um, I would have been later had I not pit stopped like that. I was telling Roxy I had an interesting morning. Wowie, yeah. I, you'll like this story. Okay. I solved a 20-year mystery today. <laughs> Do you Unha- feel good? Do you feel accomplished? Yeah. Unha- well, because, because I didn't understand for 20 years. I didn't yeah. really understand. It was confusing. So I'll tell you the story because Roxy's, <laughs> like, Roxy's going to have questions for me, and then I want to get questions for you. Okay. Um, so He wouldn't let me ask them before. Not yet because I wanna, I'd rather mm-hmm. – because I know that she's going to have great questions sure. for this thing because – so 20 years ago, bless you, bless you. <laughs> I'm in college. When he was wearing something. So I'm, in, I'm in college, oh, and my buddies get, uh, my, my buddy Dan marries his high school sweetheart. Mm-hmm. So, Good for Dan. Yeah. So he gets married, and I see today that it was a 20-year um, a, a anniversary that they got married, 20 mm-hmm. years ago. So wow. And I remember I had gone, I had gone and I'd taken a, a date to this wedding, and it was this girl, Alex, who I went to first grade with. And from first to fifth grade... We were friends, but Alex was like a tomboy, and she had like a little bowl cut. And I literally saw her punch a dude in the nose, like with a really good right hook. Damn. Okay. She was she was a badass, but she was Lover. but she was like a little she was like she was tough. You know, she's a little tough kid. She left school after like the fifth grade. So nobody saw her. We just remember the legend of Alex because she kicked she punched this guy in the face. No Twitter, no Facebook. There's so no you, fa- yeah. there's no social media. I even love in, those those uh, you know those urban legends of where did so and so go in the third grade? And, and it yeah. gets better yeah. because so okay. what happened to Alex? Yes. Yeah. So those are the questions of what happened to her. And then my mom was always friends, but she lived close to us. My mm. mom was always friends with her mom, and they always had conversations, and it went on and on and on for a while. I remember I was like 18, and some, something like that, and my mom was like, Alex is back in town, and I was talking to her mom, I ran to her mom, and you know, you should get together and, and see Alex. I was like, I'd love to see Alex, I haven't seen her since like the fifth grade or whatever yeah. it was. So I go and meet Alex, and she's like smoking hot okay. at this point, like smoking hot. <laughs> and I'm like, well, that's a nice, thanks mom. Yeah. And I go, and then we were smoking a joint in the park or something, right, awesome. just hanging out. I was like, so she's really, she was cool, and we just hung, nothing, just hanging out. Okay. I go back to college, my buddies get married, uh, and so I say, so I'm like, okay, you know what? I'm going to ask Alex to come with me to this wedding. Take a shot. You take hey, a shot. shoot or shoot. I, took, I, I was shoot going to take a shot. So, again, remember, no Facebook, no social media. I had to get in contact with her, call her, do all that stuff. She says yes. Whoa. So we go we go to the we go to the wedding. <laughs> but wait, you're right. Yeah. But you know, dogs, so, you, so, we, so we go to the wedding. Where's the foghorn on that one, Cops? I know, I know. So we, but we go to the we go to the wedding, uh-huh. and we're going. And so I show up, and some of my friends who had gone to St. Roberts, the, the school, the Matt Dillon, the Vanessa's, everybody. Yeah. Bazinga! Right. So we get so we get there, and so some of my friends, some of my friends are going, Who's that? I was like, that's Alex from, from school? Again, she, at same, same consensus. She's smoking hot. It's, and we start dancing. We're having a great night. I'm like, okay, maybe, you know, things could be moving. Magic. Like making out on the dance floor kind of dancing or you're grinding? I'm, I'm hoping. Uh, <laughs> yeah. but, but none of that. No. Okay. So then night's getting really good. She goes, I'm going to go now. Mm. I'm like, Wait, what? And every, I mean, and this is like, you know, weddings. Yeah. So like, it's like everyone's drinking and it's going higher and higher and higher. And yeah. then she bails, and I'm just like, huh? We're we talking one in the morning, like just uh, no, tired. It was probably, it was probably, well, she didn't seem tired at all. She said, she's like, I gotta go. I have to go. Like, I think I have to meet somebody else. Or I'm like, what just happened? Like, it was just, it was just, it just stopped. Yeah. Bum, 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 bum. So then, yeah, one hundred percent. So all my friends are there with their dates and their destroy you. Yeah. And, yeah, like what? What'd you do? Yeah. It's like I don't know what yeah. I did. I have, I have literally no idea because I didn't. I mean, there was nothing. I didn't make Booger, a move. To, food in the teeth. But I didn't nothing. make a move that was like something that was gonna be. Yeah. You idiot! You yeah. shouldn't have, or misread the situation. It seemed were you like, too drunk? Were you being sloppy? No, no, no. no. Ab- I would have understood oh, that. Yeah, but mm-hmm. absolutely not. So I'm like, okay. So she winds up leaving. I then I got sloppy after she left. Yeah. Um, have a good time, and then <laughs> it just don't see her again for like ten years. Or whatever. Okay. Then Facebook comes in. Then you don't s- call her the next day and say what was. I that? went back to Florida State and I became an animal. You know, I just yeah. did. I did my thing. I was doing stand up and uh, in Florida State, and I had my rendezvous, if you will. I did. I did what I had to do. <laughs> and you know, and it was. And she lived in New York, and I lived in in Florida. It was never. So I don't. Who the hell knows? So I just I, star crust lovers, man. Right. Yeah. Well, no, that that did certainly didn't happen. So <laughs> so I then 
I think it was like 2008. At this point, I'm married, or not married, almost with my now wife mm-hmm. at that point. We all go back to, we have the St. Robert's thing, Facebook. We talk about it for a second, but nothing really kind of comes out of why, why that happened. You talk about it with Alex. For like a second. And nothing really comes out of it. So today, the anniversary happens, and I and I saw I, of your friend's wedding of the friend's wedding. Twenty Beautiful. years, yeah. And so all the St. Roberts years. people are still in contact and everything. And and Alex was really cool. She reached out when my brother passed away and everything yeah. too. And she's and again married. She's married two kids, and she she reaches out and she goes. Um, and I told I told her today I was like, twenty years ago, if you want to feel old, when we went to that wedding, and I showed Roxy the the, the text, Facebook message the Facebook, or whatever. Yeah. yeah, and she and she says uh, she's like, I'm sorry, I left you. I, I left you that night. I, I, looking back, I would have stayed. And I'm like, Whoa. Oh. and I go, well, I go, why? Well, not, but not that, but just yeah. because. No, no, it, it, it wasn't, wasn't like in a sexual it way. It no, was it wasn't just like, like that. No, we're no, just no, no. engrossed in the story. Yeah, 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 bring no, it home, no, bring no, it home. No, we're no, not like that. that. And, I, and, I, and I said, I, I said, well, why? I was like, what happened? Right? And she was, she Pooped said. pants. No. She was worried. <laughs> That's always that my fear. I, you know, that you was first grade. That's what been. I assume. Every woman, every woman that I have used a shitter. They pooped their pants. They, 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 they used a shitter. Um, I that's said a, lesbian. That's where she, she oh. literally was. She was in there. She was in there for the entire night. Yeah. That's the reveal. She was in the bathroom the entire night. She waited until it closed out so no one saw her, and she slipped out the Snuck back in the out. alley. Yeah. <laughs> no. No. She. She said. She said that she was worried everybody was talking about her, and she was insecure about f- that everyone thought she she People thought were she, staring at she her. thought she wasn't attractive and she thought because of when she was younger and because she, she was a tomboy, but she was like a tomboy and yeah. people like would say that she's boyish and everything too and she had stuck with her and I was like no, what they were doing was looking at you going, how the fuck did Harloff score that? Yeah. You know, how was he able to get that? And But then it was so funny. And I asked her, I said, I'm going to talk about this in the air. She's like, you absolutely should. I said, I won't mention your name. She's like, mention my name. So I was like, so, but anyway, that's 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 kind of what happened. Isn't that funny, though? That is so it's funny. It's so funny. I wonder yeah. how long, you know, the, the buildup of waiting 20 years to, to find say out what that I did. to that you. Stinky breath or what was how it? How often yeah, did you think it? about that? I mean, not, 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 I mean, whenever the, the St. Robert's types of conversations would come up, you know, because it was like, you don't take somebody for a wedding if you're not going to take a shot. Yeah. And yeah, I was, yeah. was going to take a shot. And I was like, well, shoot you know, shoot. but I also thought, well, you know, maybe that that's just, she was just coming to have a couple of drinks and she was going to take off and hang with her friends. And I was like, that's cool. And that's, we had a good time. She was, she's a cool, she's one of the coolest people I know from that, from that era too. And. We still we, we laughed we shot the shit we danced and then she just, it was so random. I'm leaving. It's just like it's like yeah middle of dance. You want to go another dance? No, I'm leaving. <laughs> what? Where are, you, where are you going? I'm not gonna be here with you anymore. It's like see when, you later, fuckface. It's literally like when MacGruber has sex with Kristen Wiig and then she's like that was nice and he goes I'm leaving and he just gets up. Kind of except he didn't get that far. Yeah. Um, but that was uh, it. So it, it was the man. Oh man. But I was just like twenty Damn. year mystery. Twenty year mystery. You would have been great Done. as if in your garage you just like flip over a wall and there's just those red strings connected to all of your thoughts right. of how, why she left. Why, like, why was it? Pooped yeah. pants. My, my friend John... Possible lesbian. Pooped right. pants. Is right. Well, yeah. Well, well, yeah, my, my friend John Pinto was, was he was the one he, he he still breaks my chops about it this day. He's <laughs> Did like, you yeah. text him today? What? No, no, no. He, uh, he'll listen to the show. And he was and he was like... He's listen, like, Pinto. He's like, what? he's like, what happened? He's like, you didn't... Because he was the first one. Ah, I couldn't make it happen. Huh? <laughs> couldn't close it. Couldn't close it. And then he's like, God, he's like she left you. Because yeah. when you leave in the middle of reception yeah. like y- y- people go what'd you, what'd you do dummy right, right. what'd you say it would have been great as if you got like really hammering your friends like you know what Christian you could probably use a cup of coffee and <laughs> your Pinto comes out like coffee's for closers and yeah. smacks it out of your Pin- Pinto was the best at weddings <laughs> yeah. so Pin- even when he was he- he's still married but when, when we would go to weddings and he would get hammered and there was this Irish bartender at this one wedding my friend who just got back out of jail um, girl or guy <laughs> The guy that went to jail is is guy. guy. Yeah, yeah, but yeah, but no, I didn't say, say guy. That? I didn't say guy first. I said that he He's, was. I just yeah, I yeah, said friend. Irish bartender oh, oh. friend. Oh, no, no, no. Oh, the oh. Irish bartender was, was. I missed that whole thing. Yeah, the Irish bartender <laughs> was the bartender at my friend's wedding. Okay. And so, but that friend is divorced now. He went to jail and all this stuff too. But that's irrelevant. Um, Girl or guy? Easy. Right. <laughs> The bartender's name was Patty. So Pinto kept going up to the bartender, getting hammered. So at one point, he's sloshed. And he yeah. goes up, he's like, Patty, give me a drink. <laughs> and Patty goes, your wife said no. He goes, what? <laughs> what would you say? I make the decisions. Me, Patty. I make the decisions. And, and Patty's like, Patty goes, no, that's it. And he's like, come on, Patty. Come on, Patty. One more drink, Patty. 
and he's dancing in the oh middle, going, God. Patty. And he's, and, and like, he's doing this dance, and Patty is like laughing, but still like, and he's just like, one more drink. You can't close me off, Patty. And then, so finally, Patty doesn't even tell him, tell him to go fuck himself. So then, He's on the stairwell. I'm with my ex-girlfriend at the time. And we're, so it was myself and Pinto. And my ex-girlfriend and Pinto's now wife are in this uh, area. And, and Pinto's jumping on the stairs going, I'm the flying patty. <laughs> and he falls and goes off. And you hear, boom, 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 boom. And he just slams his shoulder on the floor. He gets back up. Woo! Right? <laughs> we walk in. And my, my, and my, my ex-girlfriend goes, Who's moving furniture? <laughs> it's like, but anyway, so Pinto was the one that was breaking my chops. Of course, about, his uh, name is Pinto. John, yeah. Yeah. John Pinto. Fuck, I love that. John Pinto. Pinto. Never yeah, ever has a bartender cut me off when it was not completely deserved. Like, oh, yeah. anytime you're oh, yeah. arguing with them, you just have to stop and be like, tomorrow I'm going to realize that was The smart. easiest way yeah, yeah. to not cut drunks off is just by handing them a virgin drink because they will they never know. know. They don't know. They don't know. Yeah. Just put a, put soda water with a lemon, whatever right. drink they were drinking they all night, that, just, yeah. and they're just like, <sighs> like they, they still think, think it, yeah, it's yeah, a totally. drink. They'll never know. Yeah, yeah. I wouldn't it's be surprised. really easy. Yeah, although I think Pinto was drinking like straight whiskey or whatever yeah. it was yeah. too, so he would know. But, uh, but yes, uh, it was... It, that all that whole thing was pretty funny. And I was like, I got to tell Roxy about it because I just thought you'd enjoy That's this. That's so good. Yeah. I always think about. Cause it have didn't... you ever ducked out on a wedding like that? No, no. How many times I have you pooped your pants? What was the story? You told me there was a, story, there was a good story That's though the... that went with that. Uh, no, it didn't go with that. It was just oh, okay. a different what story. Is it? What is it? Tell oh, me. It's a wild one. Tell me. Are you my... kidding? Okay, so one of my this is currently unfolding right now. This oh, yes. is This is my life right now. Yes. One of my best guy friends from high school moved out here. John also. Pinto. No, his name's Jesse. He moved out here. Uh, at the same time that I did. And so we stayed really close. You know, if, if you ever have somebody from home that you were like kind of close with and then they're out here, yes. they're your fucking best right. friend. Like right. you merge together. So they went to war with you. He, uh, exactly. Uh, he was, di he did the swipe left thing on hooked up with this girl. And the second time they had sex, he knocked her up. Uh -oh. So she, she had told him, I can't get pregnant. I have you this, just did. I have this disease. He, they, they had sex. No, no rubber. Uh -oh. He knocked her up. Okay. What's so, the disease? D well, who fucking Lying. Knows? The <laughs> disease to please. <laughs> <laughs> she called, it was some, some can't drop eggs disease. Uh, can't which are, drop eggs. Which are real things. Like some women have them. <laughs> a full <Right>. liar. <laughs> well. It's a bad one. You, it's a, a bad real disease. bad one. You're, you're not wrong. Right. So for the past year, Jesse, so this was a, a literally a year ago as of October. So he's been dealing with this girl. He did the, the guy thing where he was like, yo, you got to get rid of this baby. She Jeez. was like, I'm not doing that. This is a miracle baby. I didn't think I could get pregnant. Oh, I I've, understand. I, I've got to okay, keep okay. it, yeah. doing the whole thing. He's devastated. Yeah. He thinks that he doesn't like this girl. He's not ready to be a dad. Right. He doesn't He doesn't want to walk out on it, but he's like, ah. Uh, I, I, did she, did so she like, hook him? Okay. In every way possible. Yeah. But he comes to me early on. He's like, you can't tell anybody from back home. They can't know I'm going to be a dad. Oh, no. You, ha so you have tell, to promise. So tell everybody here. Swear to, <laughs> swear to, swear to secrecy. Right. And he's like, this crazy bitch is doing this. And right. I, I stood up for her so hard. And I was like, Jesse, she couldn't have a kid. Like, this is a miracle kid. Honestly, mm. I think I would do the same thing. Like, it has nothing to do with you. It's just. How old is the girl? She was like 39. Oh, yeah. And, oh. He, oh, and he's, yeah. He and he's he 27. Ran, oh, he, so, ran into a, you know, he ran into a trap. So yeah. it was. I, I understood where she was coming from. So, the, yeah. but he throughout the pregnancy, there's way huge complications, such as medical issues. Okay. The kid's oh, gonna no. have body oh, organs no. that are oh. growing on the outside. Oh. Wow. What? Need, no, like no. all the stuff. Wait, how long ago did this happen? This was one year ago. One that year one, ago. I one see. year I see. ago, okay. as we're going through the pregnancy, he found out she was pregnant one year ago, okay. as of this week. Okay. So going through the pregnancy, the doctors are like, we don't recommend that you carry to term, all the stuff. They're going through everything. It's obviously very emotionally trying, very expensive. He's trying to stay with this girl because he wants That's to be nice. the good guy. Yeah. They go through the entire pregnancy. The kid ends up being okay. Oh. Born a month or early, the kid's in the hospital for two months. Jesse goes every single day, for Jesse. Gives, his, gives his last name, gives... Uh, uh, Everything that he has, and then this girl goes out of town for the weekend and says, "Jesse, will you mind watching uh, our baby for the weekend?" He says, "Yeah." He goes and gets a paternity test while she's gone. Not his kid. Holy shit! Not his kid. One year to the date. Not yes. his kid. Wow. Not his kid. 
That's the craziest freaking story. Not as kid. That is insane. C- called what, what, called what, me. Uh, yeah, it just it sh- shocked, devastated. Course, feels busy. like he lost a kid, but he's right. also like, "What am I gonna do? I can't be this kid's dad. This girl's insane." Oh. And also, but he like literally felt like he had. Is a kid. there legal action for that? I but don't like, know. Where, where is I, the? Like, this, you said expensive, all that kind of yeah. stuff. Can he sue her for all that money? That's back? what I'm but saying. But does he want? But, but, but he cares about be, the kid right, now. Right, he doesn't want to. Yeah. And now she That's, like. Some sadistic insane. shit. Yeah, and that's, so he no, called, you sue that human being because they deserve to be put in their place. Yeah, I'm but, sorry. But no, but I know it's bad for the kid. I know that's really bad. And I shouldn't uh, have said it just like that. I don't know but if that, you that woman that, needs though. to be told. And she just needs to be told. What you did is not right. Yeah. Wow. He said, so what happened was. But he had he an took, instinct. He took the, well, he took the paternity test because he was starting to put money aside for the daughter's college. And oh, so it was, a, it was a girl. Yeah, it was okay. a girl. And okay. so he was starting to put money aside for her college. And on one of the questions or something, it was like, are you the father, the mother? Other, other, and he was like, "I'm what? the father, I th- right? I'm the father." And it kind of something sparked, and he was just like, "How well do I know this girl? She's done a couple weird things. Yeah. I-, I guess Where I should just this do girl? this." The swipe left. Oh, the swipe matter. Swipe oh, left. The swipe I see. Left. Yeah, I, see. Yeah. <laughs> I, don't, I don't know. I think it was your basic Tinder. It was right. one of those, though. So I see. You know what? Two, I'm so glad. Two times. I'm so glad that was so after that. my time. Oh, I missed all that yeah. online dating I don't do, shit. I didn't do it either. No so far. way. But it's, it's really bad. great for people that it works for, and, <laughs> yeah. then, and some yeah. people get crazy. But and now we don't even know. Did she actually have that disease? Did she not have yeah. a disease? Right. Like no answers. So he didn't want to tell her. Over the phone because she's crazy. Right. So he was like, you know. Does this kid come from money? No. Him? Yeah. Oh. Uh, he's okay. Okay. Right. He's okay. Well, what's the, what's I'm the, just not, saying something. Yeah, 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 yeah. What's he the doesn't come from hey. FU money. Yeah. What's the confrontation like? So he, she calls and, she, and they're on the phone and she's like, you're being kind of weird. Oh and boy. he's like, you know, I'm about you to think? teach. He's like, I'm <laughs> about to teach my pottery class. Um, we'll talk later. And she can send something weird. So she drives over right in the middle of the right. class. Oh. She pulls him out of the class. He he's goes, teaching. in the middle of his pottery class? <laughs> I was just going to say, you're like, uh, he does okay. He's about to teach a pottery class. Roxy, okay. you buried you know, the lead you know, on you know, this. You don't bury the lead on the pottery. Yeah. 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 Here's the thing. Pottery on the pot. I'm he worked this for, just got insane. <laughs> oh she he works. She has a nerve, Mr. Potter. He, he works for a very, very successful oil company. He just is an artist, and so he teaches oh, okay. a nighttime class. It, 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 it's it, not it. color me no, mine. No, no. no. Okay. He teaches. I was gonna say, where is this color? Out of his house, he teaches a nighttime once a week pottery right. class because he this loves poor pottery. Guy. Okay. This poor guy just went through a tragedy. Where they're like, you pottery fuck. <laughs> <laughs> I made you this vase. Yeah. So he had me. Want to do the scene? from ghosts he made yeah. so many things for the daughter already oh. he was like it was so sad oh. but so she comes over pulls him out of the pottery class and and she looks at him and says what's wrong and he said nothing's wrong I don't have a kid yeah oh is that, how, is that, is that how he said it yeah and, and if you'll oh. excuse me I have a pottery <laughs> <laughs> And she said, she said, what? Put the clay down, Johnny! <laughs> she said, what? Stop making dildos! Hold on, hold on. Hold on. I yeah. step away for one second, and another duck fucking a cow in, in a pottery it's class! It's old dicks! She, <laughs> so, 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 she, here it is. she said, what do you mean? And he said, I took a paternity test. And she said, that's impossible. And he said, you must have slept with somebody else. And she said... One of his students come over with the whole thing and says, fuck you and play. <laughs> she, she said, nope. Oh, wow. Nope. No, I didn't. Okay. She said, no, I did and, not. And he said, well, they're 100% accurate. Yeah. I'll take as many as you want. You're paying for them, though, because they're a few hundred bucks. Right. But you did. And then she called him later that night and was like... Okay, so you know when I went up to San Francisco oh, or whatever wow. it was? Right. Yeah. Wow. But it was one time. Well, And well, I was really effed up. Well, I the swear way, somebody slipped me something. Well, the oh. way sex works is. <laughs> yeah. And don't, don't if, even if the girl says she can't get pregnant. Swear oh, well, yeah. I said to Jesse. She can also we, still give you What herpes. did we learn from this? Yeah. What did we learn? And he was like. Correct. Not to have sex well, with crazies, well, and I was, was like, "Wrap it up, you mother." Yeah. Yeah. She was pregnant before she banged him. Yeah, yeah. And yeah. then yeah. she did. She she knew that something happened, so then she it was probably like a month into it or something, or a couple weeks into it. Yeah, it was a couple weeks. Yeah, did it, and then suckered him into it. He saying, asked oh. her during the pregnancy to get a paternity test because at a certain point you can do that, and she pulled the, "Are you fucking kidding me? You don't trust me?" Yeah. And you know. 
he was like, okay, okay. Yeah. Trying to be a good guy right. during, like, Poor not bastard. to make him more. Isn't that crazy? He Yikes. said to me on the phone, he was kind of laughing. He's not the crying type. He's a real Boston dude. Yeah, yeah, and he yeah. was like, lost a year of my life. Yeah. Definitely need some therapy. Is he, uh, anyway. Yeah. Is he going to check in on the kid, you think? I asked him. He said, you know, I, my first instinct was yes, but my I called my parents and they said, not your kid, not your problem. Yeah. And I kind of don't know how to check in with, on the daughter without having the mom I, and I can't it. be in her and life. That's tough. And he was like, it's literally. So he's been with the daughter for three months. You know what I bet you that does to him, though? I bet you that because is he, is he seeing anybody now? No, he was seeing her until this day, oh, until, until the in, until the the day that it happened, when, like how, two days ago. Two days ago, yeah. it was like a couple oh, days ago. Wow, it was like a couple days ago. Okay, so he's all right, well, fresh. It was literally there. a year to the day. Thank that you. He you're found saying. Out. I yeah. think what's gonna, your 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 story shits all over mine. Sorry, Alex. Yeah. No, your story was great. Hold on, I got one. I was teaching an advanced macrame <laughs> class. Mm-hmm. <laughs> <laughs> well, Insane. But everybody but, oh, from home whoa. found out. Everybody from home found out that he didn't have a kid. Because he was like, I don't have a kid. And right. people were like, you had a kid? Because <laughs> right, 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 right. he hadn't told yeah. anybody. Right. Well, it's I think be what's going to happen, but I think what will happen, and because of that emotional attachment for that full year, I can tell you from, and Brett, you said the same thing, going through through that twice, right? That year of watching and, and uh, wondering what the, the kid's going to be, wondering what you're going to be as a father, I guarantee you from wondering the Wondering if the kid's going to live or not live, all, that, all the complications. All that stuff, that, going through that emotion... Like whether or not it was taken away from him in two days or not, too. Right now he's back to not having, not being a dad, not worrying about the responsibility. When he does get back into it, like if he ever, if he didn't want to have kids, I bet you now more so than ever he probably wants to have kids again. Like down the he line. did like just with a normal had, human being. Yeah, yeah, he had no interest, and then he he fell in love with this. That's girl. what I'm saying. He did. Uh, oh, he fell in love with the lunatic. No, 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 with the daughter. Babe, with the daughter. Oh, yeah. with the right. daughter. Yeah, of course, of course. Well, I I feel for him. I, when when I found out, I said I'm so happy for him, and Ben said I'm so sad for him. It's like you don't know which one to feel exactly. It's yeah. like it's yeah, it's weird because I'd be on the 405 naked with an American flag and a case of beer. Yeah. Just <laughs> don't stop. Because I, 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 you just dodged the biggest bullet. Yeah, of but, you know, life. see, you, you he, say I, that. I said the same thing. Yeah. I'd be so happy, but when you actually think about it, he thought he had a daughter for yeah, a year. That's, that's the thing. Yeah, that that's, poor that's, kid. That's, that's, you're, you're, that's the problem. Yeah, yeah that's, that's the, the kid. The yeah. kid. Yeah. yeah, because you're attached. You're you're so attached, and you start to think what you're gonna do for this kid. How you because it College sounds like fun. he's that sounds yeah. like he's a really good dude. Yeah. This guy. So it's like he starts to think, okay. How, what kind of my a dad I'm gonna be? And you emotionally, you switch and you turn. You're like because. It's one thing. Am I to gonna just have to give up my it. pottery class? Right. Yeah. I mean, what? You gotta. You <laughs> gotta. Those your life. Your life. Need to be answered. Your life changes. I know it's it's cliche. And everybody says your life changes completely. Yeah. It completely. When you I have, have no kids. idea. I have no idea. Completely. It's just a different life. Completely. Marriage is one, is one thing, but when you get when you have a kid, it's not about you anymore. It's complete. If you're good parent it's about you it's it's about your kids and that's it it's everything you think about it's worry it's 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 love it's 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 all this stuff and he was preparing himself for that so when that's stripped away from you yes the one crazy pants magoo is out of my life forever but that feeling that's fucked up that's why i I get that i mean the whole and you feel for the child now too because i feel so bad for the daughter she's growing up with a crazy mom no dad no dad and you wouldn't really drink and drive like that (laughs) no i'm not i'm not driving i'm walking walking. standing and drinking okay no that's better yeah Yeah. but anyway um great start to the show ladies and gentlemen coming in hot hot what are the comments um what are the comments who cares i don't know i'm not looking well i took so anyway, the other thing, speaking of comics, so I took Roka last night to Wreck-It Ralph, and I mentioned that he re- and he reacted like you. He Thanks screamed that on the red carpet. It was really bizarre. Um, but we got... We Did you guys walk the red carpet? I mean, we always go, you always walk, like there's two sides to it to where you see, you kind of walk past, you see everybody doing the interviews, but Danny Fernandez has actually a role right. in the in the movie, and like they use her likeness, and it's actually As herself, her. herself, I It's know. actually her. It was really actually, Unreal. it was very cool to see. Um... When I was there with her and Mark um, at, for a second, and then John and I were walking down. Alice? Yeah, it was, Mark was there, and so we, we were, we walked down the, we were walking down and we was just seeing everybody. I'm so, at this point, I'm just, I've been to these things before, and I've been in L.A. for a long time, so it's like, I celebrity sightings don't really do it for me, so I'm just like, I just want to go sit down like an old man and just relax and eat popcorn, and Roka's 87 years old, so he was the same <laughs> same way. So we sit down and watch the movie. Looks really good for 87, oh, I'm yeah. going to say. Um, Big penis. Actually just turned 88, too. Uh, so. 88. 
If so, I hear that one more time today, I'm going to yeah, lose let's my let's not overdo mind. Um, so <laughs> we, stop it. So we did. So we were watching the movie. Then I'm not going to spoil the movie for for itself. I tweeted out last night. Yeah. I liked the movie. Um, I thought it was good, not great. I like the first one better, but it's still really enjoyable. And like Makuga, take your kids. Take your um, kids. But there's one thing, and it's the internet. Roka is, and I are watching, and Ralph goes into just like the comment section of this one, you know. And Roka goes, no, 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 don't, yeah. no, no, no. He's screaming, like, don't go into the comment section. Don't look at the comments. And it's Straight up PTSD so from, from comments. 100% yeah. screams yeah. it out in the middle of the premiere. Uh, and just like couldn't even, couldn't even help like, himself. No, I think people, half the, the audience were probably people that, that they got it because yeah. of where we were. But it's like, it reminded me of the way he reacts to uh, horror, horror films. films. And, <laughs> Yeah, yeah. <laughs> oh, so yeah. you play Horseman 7,000 times, but you don't play a Josh McCuga drop there? Yeah. Oh, man. There you go. Um, but anyway. They so, can sleep in the hallway. Yeah. Yeah. The, the movie itself was um, was cool. You should go check it out. Really good or good? I liked it. I thought it was good. Okay. I thought it was wow. good. Yeah. So, so does it, does it, does it <laughs> I thought it was good. I mean, I, mean <laughs> it, I think that it had some. It had a good message. Um, I think that the dynamic between Vanellope and Ralph was incredible. And it sticks. That's kind of why you Do you, you think it's it? going to affect the box office versus Creed 2 and, more importantly, Robin Hood? Robin Hood doesn't have a shot <laughs> oh, to do yeah. anything. Robin Hood and Creed are, are the ones in the battle because because Wreck-It Ralph and Creed have completely right. two different things. Yeah. So um, I think Wreck-It Ralph is going to rule the the box office Ooh. with over $100 million. Well, How I would have said Wreck, but you, yeah, go oh. do, your, do your thing. Does she have a big role, Danny? <laughs> You're wearing teal. No, it's, a, What's that? It's, a, it's a little role, no, but how was it? Here's the thing. It's a small role, but, but the it's, thing her. Is, it's her. I know. It's her likeness, Very and it's cool. her. So she like, she's like, hey, guys, I'm Danny Fernandez, and, I, and I'm doing and – I, and I'm, I forget what the actual thing was. She's like a reporter, like a YouTube type of reporter, and it was it was amazing. We saw her after Roka and I saw her afterwards, and we were like asking her how she got the uh, the opportunity, and she was. They reached out to her and yeah. asked her. It was cool. So they reached out to her, and then also like mass studied her videos because mm-hmm. I talked to her um, the other day over in Ernest, and her hand movements, her motions, like yeah, they, yeah, yeah. They studied it all, watching it hours cool. and hours of her film. She was like so flattered. It was super cool. I mean, That's again, because cool. normally you just have like it would be her, and be like, okay, let's look out for her voice, but you didn't have to because she just says her name, and yeah. you're like, that's that's very rare. It does not happen yeah, yeah. very often. So it was cool. That's awesome. Um, but the movie comes out in a couple of weeks, and I think tonight, no, tonight I'm not seeing shit. What was the one that that uh, Chris Pine, the movie that Chris Pine's on a Netflix Hunter movie? Killer. No, no, that's uh, uh, Gerard Butler. No, we're uh, seeing. I know what you're talking about. It's the uh, is it Outlaw King. Outlaw yes. King. Yes, Outlaw King. Oh come on, I gotta play it for the. I can't play it for the Outlaw. <laughs> no, King. well you got you overdid it. I oh, know. Man. Yeah, but we did. Um, we did. Uh, we were supposed to have a screening for that tonight, but it comes out on Netflix in like two days. I know. So that's oh, gonna wait. A Netflix movie. Yeah, you, I'm gonna wait. Yeah, there's a lot of screenings this of time shit. of year. I'm going to see the the, out, the I keep forgetting the stupid the name of the zombie movie. Uh, uh, Overlord. Stupid zombie Outl- Overlord. 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 Yeah, I can't, see that tomorrow. I can't go to it. No, why? Because uh, I do the Tomorrow Show Wednesday nights. I'm uh, upset and they didn't have another screening. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> uh, nailed that. Let's see. Thank you. The degree is that yeah. good. Oh, Overlord is tomorrow, and then Thursday is the uh, Instant Family. Yeah. Yeah, I can't. Sure. I got soccer got practice Fantastic for the kids. Beast I can't Fantastic. make any of those. Can't make it soccer practice. Yeah, sorry, yeah. Yeah. it's all right. You're all right. Um, I still haven't gotten my Creed invite. Did you get that? No, not right. yet. I think well, you're not going to get Creed. You're going to get uh, Fantastic Beast first. I got it. Well, I got to get that one. Okay. I got to reach out. We got to it. it. I'm uh, I'm going to uh, Crazy Rich Eating tonight. Got oh. invited by Warner Brothers. It's like a Crazy Rich Asians pop up kitchen nice. by some very this famous. Yeah, by oh, okay. some very I, famous. I thought it was a joke the I whole time until yeah. finally I was like, hmm. You might be know. actually telling the truth. Uh, yeah. yeah, Warner Brothers invited. Uh, so me and the missus are going. It's a very famous Korean chef that's doing like a full tasting menu yeah. that looks like Crazy Rich Asians. I feel oh. like you have, the, and I could be dead wrong. I don't know where this is coming from. The food taste of like a fifth grader, like a nugget. Yeah, oh, it's very you know, incorrect. I think you it's eat, incorrect. You'll eat all different. Yeah, I'm not. Every time we eat, you get, you get a Caesar salad. Nah, he's a food connoisseur. This yeah, could, I'm just not. Yeah. That's lunch. Okay, so cr- you'll eat all different Korean food. Oh, absolutely. Yeah, yeah, yeah. No, Ellis, it, so. Ellis is the one. Yeah, oh, Ellis yeah. is like really bad when it comes to That's food. That's what I was thinking of. Yeah. You're allergic I'm to I'm just it. allergic yeah. to everything. Yeah. Comps are pretty bad, too, right? Comps are, you don't eat a lot of stuff. I'm pretty bad. Yeah, you are, right? Yeah, I've gotten better, though. My girlfriend's like forced foods upon me. Good. Still not eating sushi, though, right? No, fuck that. That's a girl. We've mentioned a couple times. Show. I hope you don't mind, Christian. But yeah. Copster, how long have you been with your girlfriend? Uh, almost three years now. Yeah. Have you met her? 
Has anybody uh, yes. met her? I've met her. Yes, I swiped now. right. Thank you. Yeah. Oh, yeah. oh is that what happened? So did she. <laughs> Use a condom. Yeah, unless you teach pottery class. <laughs> yeah. Um, but anyway, so well, that's cool. Good stories, everybody. Happy to move on here to Riley. It's pottery with Cobster. Pottery now. with Cobster. Yeah, pottery. He's really good. You should see his stuff. Cops, will, he come, will he come on the show and do it? No, and Jesse, do Jesse's pottery is unbelievable. Jesse should come on and tell his story while doing pottery. Yeah, yeah. Jesse, he, he would. Girl. You would love him because he literally laughed through the whole thing. Like he's just not the feel sorry for you yourself got, you kind gonna, of guy. You got to send him the the, the story. Yeah, he'll. Uh, that's why I didn't mind saying it. Because love it. He just. Yeah. Well, he's like, well yeah. I got fucked. You yeah. know, literally. literally. <laughs> All right, let's go. <laughs> zing, 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 zing. Wait. Yeah. She she did text him yesterday and said, you, "You know, fathership isn't just about blood." Oh <laughs> God. Oh boy. He called me. He was like, Takes "What do I do with that?" I was like, "Yeah, you, she, you she's don't. She, you, you, you should write back." Fatherhood. Or grasping something. at straws. Yeah. See you later. Yeah. Yeah. Um, Riley, news. Yeah. What's going on? News. Lots of news we haven't talked about, but I want to get uh, the Avatar sequels. Have you heard about this? Yeah, hit me, the, bitch. The, the names are out. And so let's read them off because they're really funny. The last airbender. Still yeah. airbending. Avat- Bent that yeah. air. Hold on. Avatar, the way of water. Sure. Ooh. Is, uh, I guess, the one coming out. Right. Uh, Avatar, the seed bearer. Yes. Oh, shit. Avatar, the Tolkien rider. Yeah. Tolkien. T U L. Oh. K U N, and then Avatar, the last one, the quest for <laughs> peace. Iowa, Iowa, sure. E Y W A. Four of these things, huh? Okay, so you know what this Four. means. You know what this means. Iwa. What? This means that this is almost a guarantee that Star Wars will be doing two movies a year instead of one. This is a guarantee. Oh wow. Why? Why? Because Disney is getting uh, Avatar. Th- this is what they're gonna have, right? Mm-hmm. Yeah. Disney gets Avatar. And they're going to go full in on Avatar. Mm-hmm. Avatar is not a not a summer release. They're not moving it. They're not going to move Star Wars. They're not going to have Star Wars competing. It also gives time now they because they did not have when they had. So why Star- would we have more Star Wars? No, we're going to have less Star Wars. Oh, one, two, two, two. Now usually we're supposed to get them once a year. Right. We are now going to get them every other year. So oh, you said that's two what a year. You said two year. Every, no, 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 no. Biannually Sorry. Sorry. instead. Yeah, no. I agree. I agree. So every other year. So it'll be so, Avatar Star Wars. Correct. Avatar Star Wars. Correct. I that's agree. that's what I'm saying. So it's going to be that because when. They originally had the plan of Star Wars coming out every year. It was they didn't have any other big sci-fi yeah. fantasy franchises. Now they totally. do. They're not going to compete with it. They're going to build out this thing four movies. So now you're going to see Star Wars. Do you Wars. think that the Avatar legitimately will still compete for audiences with a third movie? Do I think by the third and fourth movie? You don't compete? think the audience would be like another one of these? The Maybe. casual film goer? Maybe, but they're going to go with it, and I, they're going to they're going to go with that lie. plan. I can't lie. I don't think I get Avatar. I don't uh, think a lot of people it's do anymore. Fern Gully. The problem, the problem. I don't, I don't dislike it. I just. I, I really like the movie, and the thing is, it's I one think of the. I did too. I felt like the movie. I felt like it became cool to hate that movie afterwards too, because yes, it was very, it was it innovative was, for its time. Well, it was definitely innovative. There's no doubt about that. But it, it, it is a rehash of a lot of different movies, right? But tons of movies are. But Ferngully. I liked. I liked that the, the Robin movie. Williams movie. Or Ferngully. No, that's Ferngully. that's what dreams may come. Oh no, yeah, Ferngully was was Robin Williams. Oh. Yes, it was. He was in that. Well, um, let me let me get your estimate here because twenty five dollars. They are <laughs> only they have only greenlit the first two, the okay. sequel and right. then the third. Right. And if and, and those Fox titles set, are what. And the Tuscan Way of Water and the Seed Bearer are okay. the ones that are greenlit Thank and shooting God. Right. Need back the seed to back. Bear. Also, wasn't the fourth one supposed to be like a prequel or something like that? Uh, I think it continues, but the the whole thing is if it doesn't do as well, mm. they they could say sure. we're not going to pull do the, the other. Okay, right. But Thank you. Well, they got. Do you think it will do well if they take Star Wars out of that spot? Then yes. Yeah. Then yes, it will. Okay. I think Star Wars will pave the way. I don't want that to happen, so what, but I think it's. What's the premise? Of the Avatar? We don't really. <laughs> They're know. blue. Uh-huh. Right, right. We don't and really know. Oh, you mean the first movie? No, 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 no. The, se- the we second. Don't one. We, we don't know. We don't know anything. Yeah, we know. Just, oh, well, it's the way of the water. Yeah, water. yeah. Cameron uh, said like yeah. it, it's going to be because of his underwater exploring mm. and stuff. This this part will be featuring the uh, Pandora water life and I whatnot. See. Yeah. yeah, I see. Okay, so very so that could be cool. A, so yeah, it could be like the the, the abyss. cooler oh. version of what the Gungans were, maybe. Yeah, yeah. I'm fine with this. I am too. Sure. Look, here's the th- this is the other thing that people don't realize, and this happens every single time James Cameron puts out a movie. Because Avatar, people yeah. are like, what is he doing? The first movie. What is he doing? Why is he doing this movie? This movie is going to be a bust. Every, I'm telling you, man. I worked. I remember working around, it was right around the time of, I was still at Warner Brothers, and 
everybody was talking about why is he making this move? He does, and it's the still most profitable movie of all time, right? Look at what he did with Titanic. That movie people thought was going to be the biggest bust of all time. Right. Most profitable movie of all time. You look at True Lies, Terminator franchise. You know, when it comes to his directings, when he's really putting behind it, I don't doubt what he's going to be able to do. He has not failed yet when it has come to movies. I, I agree with you on that one. I really do. And I guess that I, what I'm saying here is like, it's like Zoolander 2 and Dumb and Dumber 2 and all those movies is That's that they I'm waited wondering. so long for a sequel, right? That it, 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 it's, when did it's Avatar been come out? 2009? Oh, yeah. 2009. I'll tell, yeah, you the, I'll tell you the difference. I'll tell you the difference with that. With, uh, I mean, no, it's a comedy and a drama. I get that. But, but it's also technology. The, but, the, but the thing is the, the period, right? So mm -hmm. Zoolander, what made Zoolander, it was all the references to pop culture and everything, too. And, the, and because of the, the age of the mm -hmm. actors, it'll be kind of seamless. With yeah, Avatar, you're right. It, it connects as long as the story's good and as long as the fantasy element works. Who gives a shit if it if it if it works, sure. right? Because it doesn't. It, it's not dated, shit. right? It's not yeah. dated. It's like so. The other movies that like the nostalgia purpose that don't really lock in. What was the other example that you gave? Uh, Dumb and Dumber. Same thing, too. right? Same thing. These are these are two actors that were kind of past their prime yeah, when it came sure. to comedy too, and it was a joke that was. The, the type of comedy style in 95 or whenever the first one came yeah. out as opposed to now. It, and it's hard to do. It's very hard to do a comedy sequel. Oh, yeah, for sure. Yeah, So if they yeah. connect it right, it could be a disaster, but it also could be better if it's really original. There was, yeah. there was also a pretty big gap between Terminator and Terminator 2. That's, That's true. true. 84, that to, true. 84 to 91, right? Mm -hmm. It was a seven yeah. years. And was, yeah, so, and so it's, it's coming up close yeah. to that. So. Well, we'll be almost 10 years. When, we'll be over 10 years, yeah. wouldn't it be? He's also two for two in sequels. No, we just said he 2009. Is. So it's so almost 10 over. years, yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. But so. by the time it comes out, 11 years. Yeah. Yes, but um, Math. I guess Thank I was you. just, I was so, I'm, I, I didn't, I wasn't one of those people that walked out and was like, oh my God, it's perfect. I walked out and I was like, okay. I, I wasn't, I wasn't psyched about it. It was fine. Uh, I just, uh, you saw it in theaters though, yeah. Yeah, I was shocked that we didn't get an avatar immediately after that, yeah, like a right. second one. Right. Uh, the he fact that diving and looking at the Titanic, yeah, he was going was all before. underwater. That was, was before. It, that was was before. it before? Yeah. Isn't there a new Titanic coming out? Not the movie, a the, boat, the, an actual boat. Ship? Yeah. yeah, yeah. He, but the the thing is, I think that what that movie did, I still to this day have not experienced a theater experience. Watching a film the same way I've watched Avatar, just the way I've I've never because the 3D. Remember that that movie, and you can curse you can curse this movie for doing that. It brought back the wave of 3D. Yeah, but it did it in a way like Avatar is the best 3D experience that I've ever. Are had you not a 3D fan? And not mm -hmm. it was abused after after yeah. Avatar. It was absolutely abused. Like the like the the conversion of it and the way that it, it the bad transfers. The only remember they were making couple, the 3D TVs and like sports is gonna be shot. I know. In 3D I have. And I, have like, I have one. Yeah. Um. One of the one you of, do I do have do one. Do you yeah. use it? Sometimes, like the Force Awakens 3D one, I'll watch, and it's still it's not great, but it's fun to watch with my daughter. Um, you have to put on the glasses. Yeah, um, I hate those things. I, That's the, what I, hate. I like the sunglasses ones. I hate the big chunky ones that fall Why off your face. Why can't it be a uh, helmet? A helmet? <laughs> yeah, because that it's it's so easy to keep yeah. storage of a helmet. But I see what she's saying. The peripheral thing yeah, is a yeah. little yeah. weird when yeah. you can I, see. I, that. I, I yeah. need a shield. Right. No, right. we need those like uh, old person cover up your sun. You know the sunglasses that huh. go around the your sunblockers. Head. Yeah. 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 I just it became a gimmick. Thank you. Became, or young person. I mean, I don't yeah. want to age <laughs> ageism it, here. But it became but, a gimmick after uh, Buckaroo Banzai. After Buckaroo Banzai. No, after after um, uh, first Avatar, they, people started using it. The ones that really popped out to me, and I'm sure I'll miss. A lot that were good. Kamar Christmas. That one was actually kind not of bad. Funny, that was right? a good one. Um, no, the two, the ones that always stick out in my mind that are the best 3D movies are Avatar and Dread. Mm. Okay, Dread 3D was incredible. What about Mad Max? Yeah. Mm. Okay, the the one that was actually, sh I mean, it, it Dread was. I felt like it was right there everything was it was still gimmicky but not the same way there were a couple of overrated ones too like that were big blockbuster movies that were advertising exclusively like you have to see this in, in 3D, 3D. Right. Like what? Was, I'm trying to remember like Jurassic World everything 3D, 3D. Yeah, they were, yeah. Yeah. Oh, I like that it was oh, yeah. Jurassic you know, was Park's like, 3D was great was it? yeah oh it was Jurassic really World? the re-release no oh, the, the re-release re yeah because right, yeah. right, right, right. post-conversion has gotten a lot better and I didn't see Titanic re-released in 3D but I hear nothing but like incredible things yeah, about it I mean the real, you're right that that some post conversion has gotten better. It's just when it was shot for 3D, but it still was it was still gimmicky, yeah, all the way around. I, what was 
did was Life of Pi? Life of Pi was three D. Oh yeah, that's right. Yeah, 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 I didn't yeah. see that movie. That was the one with the I tiger like, on yeah. the boat, right? Yeah, that was Mr. a good movie. I like that movie. What the hell was it? Mr. Pepper's? What was the the, the kids? Doctor Pepper Charms. The the oh, one that I had Jim the, the, oh, the best the time the in the, the tiger's name. The 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 three D was so fun. Was a How to Train Your Dragon the original? original one. Yeah, yeah, because yeah, when yeah, he yeah, rides yeah. the dragon for the first time, I was on a fucking roller coaster. Spoiler alert! Animation. Animation is good in three D. Mega Mind was really good in three D too. By the way, um, I. I guess I was just discounting animation because that's you feel it's almost like what it's made for. <laughs> you guys remember The Hobbit when they wanted to do oh, 48 frames? That was such a disaster. Remember how fast that died? Because it, it was a disaster. People yeah. did. I hated it. it yeah, made, I hated it. It made me dislike the movie a lot. I remember then they said, would you like to choose the 48 frames and I think for the second one or whatever it was? Maybe they got rid of it for the second one. Whatever it was. And I was like, no, thank you. It looked like we were watching a rehearsal. That's what, yeah, that was it the was problem. So it was so real. Do you guys know what, what I'm talking about where we went somewhere? It was a theme park maybe and you saw the Muppets in 3D and and they sneezed on you, and uh, the water no, came at your that? ankles. Uh, Ep- uh, Epcot Center. Is that where oh, that was? Okay. I, th- I mean, Epcot Center had all. It was like Captain Neo. Yeah, there was and, like it was wild, Captain... and like they, if they breathed, then there was like air that would on oh, your feet, yeah. and then they sneezed, it would like water would come at right, you. Right. It was like one of those that things. That's kind of wild. It's like the Simpsons ride where you're like you're doing this thing, and then there's like shaking you, and yeah. then spitting stuff at you. Yeah, yeah. yeah. But yeah. Muppets, man. Muppets. Muppets. Yeah. All right, cool. Muppets. Muppets, man. Muppets, man. Do you, are you a Muppet fan? I was for a long time. Which Muppet? Animal woman. <laughs> yeah. What's her Big name? Uh, my favorite is the the hippie chick, man. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah. yeah was, Meredith. In the band. Meredith? Yeah. 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 What is that the without, office? Ralph the reminds me of, without favorite. saying names, mm-hmm. uh, let's let's say her name was Francisca, right? Mm-hmm. Um, the, the 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 female comic that we knew who was really attractive, who who was dude, she was very dudeish. And we and Brett and I would always laugh about like So was she hot or attractive? She was hot and attractive. Oh. But she was but we'd always be like Hey, where are you going? You want to go on a date? You take me out? And I was like, yes. Yes, I do. Like, I'll beat the shit out of you. What I do is hit you in the face. <laughs> she was like from Alabama or something. Too. I don't know. But what was the impression that you were there? <laughs> that was so bad. It was good. It was like, but it, she, she was, but it was one of those things. She was, was so like, rough when she talked. But, but she was so she attractive. Was so <laughs> I know. <laughs> do it. Go for it. Can't even do it. She's on commercials all the time. Really? I see her on commercials. You don't talk to her anymore? No. Uh, I, I want to see this impression. She's doing well. Yeah, she's you, doing well. No, I don't want to. You know what I'm doing. We'll do it. We'll do it during the break, and then we'll see if Roxy thinks it's, impre- it's impressive. Yeah. So, yeah. I won't steer you wrong. All right. Go, hey, will you give me some, will you massage my feet, you motherfucker. Uh, all right. What's next, Riley? Uh, I want to get your take on this. You haven't. <laughs> I'm telling you, when you, when you it's how an inside joke. Do, yeah. But how many times we do so that bad. impression? Oh, yeah. Oh, okay. yeah. Uh, that, <laughs> anyway. She didn't say very nice things. That's why I can't do that. <laughs> Go ahead. Go ahead. I don't know. Go ahead. Okay. What do we got? Brett, uh, you, you haven't seen Overlord, but you probably w- will want to because the uh, director, Julius Avery, mm. is going to do the Flash Gordon remake. Ah. <gasps> Wait, say what? When yes. did this come out? When yes. did this came out? Uh, how, do you not, how do you not leave with this story? We what are you talking, talking to me? Because I'm, I'm wetting your appetite right, with a little right, avatar. Everybody, everybody calm and down. And then going in here. I know. Everybody calm down. I got this plan. I haven't said a word because Flash Every, yeah. Gordon. Yeah. Uh, this, I, I'll kick you out of this fucking studio. <laughs> this you one's had. Like First of all, it's not about the movie. First of all, it's about what the movie, A, where where Star Wars came from. Yes. Okay. Okay. Flash Gordon, what it should be, again, is very similar to my, my pitch with He-Man in regards to don't do the campy, silly son of a bitch one in the, in the 1980s. Okay. Make it a fantasy sci-fi series. Mm-hmm. Do not go the stupid route that they were going to go um, back in the day and what they <coughs> did on their TV show. Make it a, like a more fantasy sci-fi, like space opera. Okay. Yeah. So is it going to be live action? Yeah, it's live action. So because Matthew Vaughn was supposed to to do it. Correct. So what? So give me a breakdown. What's happening? Uh, now they they did me- mention Matthew Vaughn. He's off. Okay. Julius Avery yes, because Overlord is getting fantastic reviews for a horror movie, for really? a zombie kind of thing. Okay. Okay. And uh, now I'm excited to see this movie. Everybody tomorrow. shot at Fantastic Fest said it was effing amazing. Overlord? Yeah. All right. Very excited about this now. All yeah, right. Go ahead. So, go ahead. Take me. Take me. Uh, that, that's pretty much it. He's coming on right now. Uh, right. Looks like uh, he's going to kind of take a crack at the script. Uh, and uh, they're off and running right now. That's it right now. All right. Very, so very so early. Very the movie early. was as good as this song. But but so di- but it's Disney. It's not Fox. No, no, it's Paramount. Oh, it's Paramount. It's sent by Fox, it says. Wait. 
Fox. Says Paramount. Oh yeah, Ram Fox. Sub- Fox. Sorry. Fox. So it is. It's going to be. So it's it's going to be. It's Disney. It'll be the D- Disney division. You know, Fox division in Disney. Mm-hmm. Um, is Overlord based on a video game? I don't no. think so. Yes. All right. So uh, it is. Yes. Overlord is. I don't know. I don't yeah, know I'm, I'm 90 percent. No, positive. no. You're no, thinking no. of Overwatch. That's Overwatch. a video game. Wait, what? What is Overlord based on? Then a comic strip? No, no it's, just, it's, it's an original, original idea. idea original. That okay. Really? Bad Robot. It came out a while ago. That Bad Robot was doing a hard R kind of action horror movie. Right. Wow, I like, thought that there was source material. Are you so sure? Do me a favor. What is so this? there are original ideas. Wait, give me, give me <laughs> some breakdown. Give me some breakdown on Julius Avery. You wanna, can you just click on his name up there, Riley? I mm. have an assignment for you. Mm. Please. Um, I want to see. He's Australian. Who represents Julius Avery? Mm. Um, and if he is, because he's Australian, yeah. So if he he's is, Australian, mate. If he's in the states, try it again. Try it again. Yeah. Because Hell yeah. I'm sure there's only. Let's let's get. Let's try to find out. So reach out to Paramount, who is doing Overlord, Overlord right? And mm-hmm. I will do the same thing. We'll see if we can get him in here for that. Let's do it. And we will grill him about Flash Gordon. Because that, that's something that needs to be. I, that I have to have back. a conversation with yeah. him. Everything that music's I've, so good. Yeah. Everything yeah, I've heard from Overlord, I'm really excited. You know me, me as a too. horror guy. So when you think of his sensibilities and going over to Flash, Flash Gordon, Gordon, you're going to probably get what you want. That's which what is I a hope. Straight don't, up don't, adaptation. Don't, hopefully. don't say because I, people love the 1980 version. Make it campy. Do not make no. it campy. Don't put comedy into it. I don't think that you can actually make a campy movie in our current. Uh, theatrical climate and actually get an audience. If Talk it, about Gardens of the Galaxy. He's got camp. There's all the camp behind it. Yeah, but it's not. I mean, like the the stuff that's so campy about Flash Gordon is the actual quality of the movie. Well, you're talking about the 1980 version, not the yeah. original source material. You're not talking about the source material. You're just, no, you're, I'm you're talking based, about the movie. Yeah, you're basically. And that's where ninety percent of people know Flash Gordon. Ninety percent of the people don't really know that that movie. That's the thing. A lot of people haven't even seen younger generations. No, oh, seen no. That I'm movie. just saying the well, people that I, know yeah. the name Flash Gordon know the movie, not the source material. Uh, yeah, I mean, but I think Star doesn't... Wars fans know the source material. And that's a lot of fans. Okay. He's yeah. at every con signing things. Oh, Sam Jones. Yeah, everyone. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So I think a lot of people. Are watching. Yes, you know why I think Ted. You know, that's what I was gonna say. That's where a lot of people know Flash Gordon from is is Ted, but you you separate it. It's a different. The same reason you don't associate Batman with George Clooney. Mm-hmm. You associate it with different. It's the same thing. It's just it was mm-hmm. a different version of Flash Gordon. There were tons of Flash Gordons from like the thirties and maybe forties. You it's you go to the source material. You go to the planet the Mondo, and you Ming the Merciless could be a very devastating character. And you lock it down. And I can't wait to see what this dude does with it. But make it happen. For I did not know you were this big of a Flash Gordon. I love Flash Gordon. Interesting. I love Flash I've been Good hoping job. for it. When there was, Ashton Kutcher was involved at one point. But there was a script going around. There was a script going around 10 years ago that was actually really good. Um, but it depends on how they do it. You know, it's like you don't know, you don't have to make him a, a football player from the Jets. You know, it's just silly. <laughs> you make him, you know, whatever he, whatever he might be. He's just him and Dale and Professor Zarkoff. They go. I mean, like I love all this shit. I think okay. that like it could you can make it a series of movies. Like you can make three movies out of Flash Gordon and really make it work. So, but you know, people are not going to get excited about it until they see it. I've known the, you I'm for. Yeah. Seven years now? Yeah. Well, longer. I think. S- however long. Yeah. I've never seen this passion from you. I could have said, hey, <laughs> Christian, I don't, I'm don't. i not like a huge return of the Jedi. Like, Tell me about it. And I was I was about it. And I'm like, you will get the hell out of here. I'm like, Jesus, <laughs> man. I will kick you out. It's, yeah. like me, it's like me saying the following. Uh, I don't care about that announcement with, with Will Smith. And ah. I, like when I saw that announcement, I thought of you because I know how happy you <laughs> what, were. And I'm which glad. Which announcement? Bad Boys. Bad Boys. Oh, yeah. Yeah. Everyone was losing. And, I saw, and it was really funny, by the way. If you haven't seen the mailbag episode. <laughs> McCougan comes running in when he finds out the announcement, and he scares Perry and Roca so badly they must shit their pants, <laughs> yeah. like Alex at the wedding. Yeah. And, <laughs> and like, and you and you came running in to announce this thing. Yeah. Um. And I watched the announcement, and they announced like, "Guess what? It's happening! It's happening!" And I'm like, eh, "Who cares?" I'm like, "I know you care." And I know people will care. Oh. I just, I like the first Bad Boys. I remember it ish. I remember seeing the second one going. It was such a throwaway film. Um, I don't care. That's, that's incorrect. I'm but, sorry. Hey, but, hey, I'm sorry. Listen, we all have our things, man. We all have our things. And that's why we can get along as friends. It's because I respect your opinion yes. and you as a human being and you respect my opinion. Well, get out. And me as a human being. Yeah. Now get the hell out. <laughs> right. Um, Go vote. Yeah. The other <laughs> stupid thing that's running around out there. Is, oh, you know what? We're going to go break. Uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. We're going to break. We're going to break. When we get, when we get back. We um, we'll talk briefly about this silly ass Shrek reboot. So dumb. Uh, And uh, Rick Rhymes is going to have a trilogy of movies 
because he's not dead. Spoiler. Let me get back. No, it's not late to the party. That's actually from Obi-Wan Kenobi. You didn't know that? Well, you should, and now you do. Jedi Council, what is it? It's about Star Wars, obviously. It's Jedi Council. Every week, the latest and greatest in Star Wars movie news, myself and Ken Knapsack. That's right, the pit boss himself. We have a guest on, and we talk about everything happening in the world of Star Wars. If it's the movie news, the TV news, canon news, comic books, games. And then we take questions from you guys on Facebook and Twitter. It's a lot of fun. We've been doing it for a couple of years now. I'm still excited talking about it. The fan base is coming together again. I believe it is. I think it is. I hope it is. And we're talking Star Wars, so we like you. That's right. Right. All of you, if you're not a fan of Star Wars, come on over and join us every Thursday for Collider Jedi Council here on Collider Video. And we have an Apple Podcast feed or Podcast One, wherever you want to go if you listen to podcasts. And not only do you get Collider Jedi Council every week on Thursday, The Rule of Two with Mark Fernandez and Mark Riley, that's on every week. I believe it drops on Wednesday. It's on one of these days. It's a good show. You should listen to it. I like it. I listen to it. I haven't listened to it once. Hey everyone, Mark Ellis here. You know, when I'm not trying to clone dinosaurs or drinking in my neighborhood watering hole, I am probably hosting Collider Movie Talk. It's a flagship show here at Collider. I like to say that because I'm the host of it. It's every day, almost. It's four days a week, which is still pretty good, above 50%. You can watch it Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, and Thursday. 4 p.m. Los Angeles time is when we do it. It's live, so you can participate in the live chat room. Go ahead and give us your thoughts on every story we have coming, because it's all the latest movie news of the day. Who did what at the box office? What horrible red box movies Bruce Willis signed on to? The DC, the Marvel, the Star Wars, the Lord of the Rings. Are they making new? I think they're, they, it's a TV show, and we still might talk about it anyway, because we love movies around here. It's myself and an expert expert panel of guests, including John Roca, Perry Nemiroff, Jeff Snyder, and other noted noters of note. You guys are going to love this show, and we take your live Twitter questions at the end of the show at Collider Video. You can always use the hashtag Collider Movie Talk to get in touch with us, so subscribe right here to Collider Video. Check out Movie Talk, and check out the Collider Movie Talk podcast feed. We have a podcast feed now. You don't have to look at this handsomeness. You can just listen to it, whether you're driving to work, whether you're driving from work, or you don't have a job, but you have a basement and ears. You can listen to Collider Movie Talks feed. You can get it at Apple Podcasts or on iTunes. You also get Mailbag. That's the show that's hosted by Perry Nemeroff a lot more professionally than I run this pirate ship. That's our weekend show where she takes your letters. I don't know if you write them or you email them. You have to ask her. And Afterthoughts, hosted by Ryan Snelling and Jay Williams. I almost said Ryan Williams and Jay Snelling. Would anybody have known the difference? I certainly would. I would have felt bad about it because I'm a nice person, and that's why I host Collider Movie Talk. Check it out in video form or on our podcast feed. Hi there. I see that you're enjoying Collider Live. After this show, why not check out Collider Games, where we play, well, games. We review games. We talk about things, anything that's going on in the gaming world, our opinions, news, all kinds of stuff. So check it out. If you like it, stick around and subscribe. Hey everyone, John Roca here, one of the hosts for Collider Sports Time. That's our new show there on the Collider Sports Network. It's our flagship show, just like Collider Movie Talk. We get on, talk about a bunch of sports issues of the day, and what is burning up social media. What topics are burning up social media? That's what we do on Collider Sports Time. I'm joined by my top 10 co-host, Matt Nost. Me and him, we welcome a bevy of guests every week to talk about NFL the Major League Baseball playoffs, NHL, and the NBA, which is starting up soon. We're going to talk about that. We also get into UFC stuff, college football, all the stuff that's happening in the world of sports. We're going to cover it on Collider Sports Time. And we're going to take the time to break it all down and give our opinions and our unique takes and unfiltered thoughts on what we think about the sports news of the day. So don't forget to join us every week on Monday for the Collider Sports Time show on the Collider Sports Network. And don't forget to subscribe on the Collider Sports Network on YouTube and on the Collider Sports podcast feed. We're going to bring you all kinds of stuff. Hope to hear from you soon. Hey, everyone. I'm Scott Movie Manson. Just to let you know, if you already don't, every Friday here on Collider Video, I host a weekly film review series called Movie Review Talk. 
The title says it all. Every week I'm joined by two guest critics of my choice, and they're never the same. We review the new films. We pick something that's streaming that you might not know about, but is really great. And we pick a Blu-ray for something that you might have missed in theaters. It is fun. It is infectious. It is the Citizen Kane of movie review shows. And it's only right here on Collider with this guy, Scott Movie Mance, Mr. Movie Release Day himself check it out every friday at 10 a.m pacific only on collider video had to do it only because the walkers are eating everything and now they're gonna fuck us on talking yeah. so yeah are they are they really talking though yes they're, they're, the trailer is out now and it's teasing the next like what's three happen. episodes that and the walkers are evolving. They're fucking talking. That's yeah. not even in, unless it happened in the yeah. in the comics. I think I, it happened in the comics. Did yeah. it? Did I it fell off the comics. Right. The comics were always great, but then I just fell off of it. All right. Well, so we're gonna get into this in a second, but I think the stupid news is this Shrek thing. <laughs> yes. Yeah. Well, still, Roxy's mad. Hey, Shrek. Roxy's mad at me. <laughs> I am mad at you. Roxy's mad at me. What? You, you know what you did? It wasn't me. It was, it was, it was, it was I fucking saw I you. I was checking on Makuga to see if he did it, and yeah. I knew that you were going to be the one yelling at him, so I wanted that's to be there to say, like, happened. I can approve that he did do it. That's not what happened, and you know what you did. He did it. I, I didn't go in the girls' room. She, I know. Neither did I. I just wanted to check in. You fucking did. Why don't you, you went watch, in there. Watch your mouth. <laughs> you, uh, Stop it. I'm going to no. fall in one of these take, days. Take a pottery class and relax. <laughs> I, I've got the hookup. I know you do. Yes, thank you. Sorry. So, very similar to me, Shrek is uh, is coming back out, I guess. And we're talking about it uh, around the, the around the coffee out there. Everybody's making the coffee, the beverages, and Thad comes over and talks about it. They're doing a reboot. Why don't you just do a fifth one? Why are we doing a reboot? And because they're bringing back Mike Myers and the whole cast, what's Possibly. the point? What's the point? But the, yeah, but the, the way I heard it was like, well, maybe if they come on, it'll be great. But if they don't, it's okay. It, like it's it's this wishy washy kind of a thing, is what I heard on the radios. It doesn't make sense to me. Look, I don't understand that. The point is, donkey. That, <laughs> no, right, but the thing is, they're getting they they own. Uh, they, uh, yikes! Uh, okay, can we rewind that some? Right. Please tell me we ripped that. Roxy's donkey is the donkey. worst I've ever heard. It is the worst I've ever heard. Do it again, Roxy. Do it donkey. again. Do it, Do it again. Donkey. That's not bad. You actually did it a little bit better. At first time, you're like, donkey. <laughs> we named the dog donkey. <laughs> you know who probably has a great one? Who? An Danish actual Christian Scottish. Harlow. Oh, yeah. we'll, we'll bring him in. I'm gonna bring. I'm gonna interview him later. Oh, I'm gonna, cool. I'm gonna yeah. He's coming in later. I'm gonna bring him in later. Yeah. Uh, yeah one on one. Watching him like get full set up method actor. Yeah, 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 no, he's just he's like, just, oh hello. He's, he's coming back. He's, and, and, he just gets yeah, in the zone. Bram Strosen will come back into it. Good. Stein Bromson. <laughs> Whatever. Bram uh, <laughs> Strowman. He's the wrestler. Um, <laughs> yeah. But I want I want I want Danish Christian Harloff and and uh, and Brett to have a conversation about his about Brett's trip to Germany. Oh, oh so that'll be later. Not, not later, but later, Christian. Um, so the fact that this uh, this is happening, it just doesn't make any sense. It's like I understand that they own it. They want to get the, the so try to rationalize itself. it. What do you think they're thinking? I don't know. It's like because the, here's the problem. The problem is that if you, I, I get it. You own the property. It's a very popular property. You should give it another shot because it's it could make a lot of money. But to reboot it and see the same story or, or a similar story of the origin of Shrek again, it's like why why do I want this in my life? Why do I need this in my life? I don't. What about your kids? Remember, it's She's not a re remake. It is a reboot. So it doesn't necessarily mean that they'll retell the story. Right. They're going to reboot the whole way. Similar to Jurassic yeah, World yeah. episode right. seven. So, so but what, it's, but what it's, could but they it's do? Still, but it's still a new way, maybe a new way that Shrek is reintroduced. Just yeah, not the true. way that we know him. And it's like, well, I, I get it. He's an ogre who does. But the, now the a whole cast broker. is coming back. That's they, what I'm saying. They want the whole cast. But you I'm know saying. why they're truly doing it? I just looked it up. $1.4 billion for all the movies. I, yeah. Th that that I not. Look, look, Puss in Boots made 149 mil, right? And they apparently are going to reboot that too. Very Shrek <laughs> Forever uh, After, no 238. Shrek uh, the third. Oh, excuse me. So, sorry, sorry. Shrek 2 was the one that made the most at 441 million. Wow. Shrek the third made 322. The third Shrek, fucking A. Fourth. The original Shrek made 267 million. Shrek Forever After made 238. And Puss in Boots, yes, 1.4 total. Um, 
and the average one is about 283. So of course it makes sense you want to give it a shot. Yeah. But I just don't understand why you would need to reboot it. Just make a fifth one. You know who's super stoked? Smash Mouth. Yeah. I know. It's true. Oh, oh God. Keep yeah. them alive. Now yeah. I'm a play hero. Yeah. Why, um, why are they coming back? Not a face. I hope so. Not maybe. Down in my if, mind. if they do it without them, I'm out. That's I, I don't know. Trace. What's, the, what's the audience thing? Mm -hmm. uh, Riley, uh, get into that comment section. I do want to see right. what does the live audience think about Shrek? Should they... Here, here's two questions for you. The first is, should they even bother with another Shrek movie? I think we all agree that they should. But the second question is, should it be a remake, a reboot, or should it be a continuation of what they said before? I want to see what, what, like what the audience thinks. Shrek is trying to engage great... Oh, that's the go. wrong song. That's no, this is, this is it. Yeah. This is it. Yeah, this is it. You were, you were singing the wrong song before. Yeah, but there's a, they, they also have that song. Right, but this yeah. is the Shrek song. Uh, yeah. Don't care! <laughs> That was worse than mine. I know. I yeah. thank you. you know the, the Smash Mouth. The You're in a great mood it. today, by the way. Did I tell you that? Oh, thank you so, much. so much. Thanks for leaving that toilet seat. She went to pottery welcome. class last night. <laughs> yeah, so. gonna I'm gonna I'm gonna go ahead and ban this guy. Don't you guys asshole. want to do a, a ghost situation? Yeah. Isn't that sexy? Yeah. Or no. Well, I I, that what are you before. looking for? No, I just want to chew into the mic. Boy, a lot of don't care. Hey, no, it was like this. Lots of don't care. Don't need. Yeah, don't need, don't care. Yeah, but yeah. okay. Shrek in is all love, Shrek fairness, is life. Do you think that our <laughs> well, that's viewers Alex. Do you think that our viewers are the sh diehard Shrekers? I think a lot of our Shrekies? viewers grew up with Shrek. Yeah, they might Shrek be. Yeah. And here's it, it's starting to come in. Yeah, uh just make a fifth. Yeah. yeah. There's some that just make a fifth, just make it a sequel. No yeah. Shrek if they do no reboot. What's the I mean, I wonder what there's like a legal reason or something. There might have to be a reboot or They did maybe. four cuz then I don't think I saw the four. Four and a puss in boots. Yes. Yeah. I, yeah. I wonder if the legal Shrek thing where like if they have if they continue they have to pay somebody. You know what I mean? Like whoever yeah. the writers are, or producers. Like if they continue it on, they have to. Like if there's, there might be. If 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 they don't, then they then they, they cut their budget tremendously by. Re it's it's very possible that right, that could be right. something. Too. What if Shrek goes like through a painful divorce with Fiona or yeah, something yeah, like yeah. that? Would be a different take. Yeah, I you was want to show that to your kids. Yeah, yeah, just like, as a. Yeah. And then a lot of people die. This is life. But then show that it's the kid's fault. Yeah, yeah. yeah. You know, this you is, did this. <laughs> this is not me being uh, always trying to do a pun. All right. But what about a movie called Shrek in the City? I mean, it's yeah. like Sex in the City, oh, Shrek yeah. in Which the City. Which city? No, we get it. New York? Yeah, he well, goes to New York. Well, but it's well, a real it sexual it be, Shrek. It would be yeah. based in fairy tale land right, or whatever. Exactly. Right. But they're Metropolis there in fairy tale land. Yeah. I, the problem, again, with that is that it's I think, Gotham. 10 years. That's 10 years too late, I think. Okay. Yeah. I mean, mm. they just did. So my, my daughter watches this show on Nickelodeon. Um, I guess it would be Shrek's in the City because the whole family would go. Well, that's true. But it's what the hell is it? Adventure Captain Man and Kid Danger, right? Is it, Sorry, say it again. My daughter watches this show. It's uh, the oh, the one with the phone. Kid Danger. They they call it the phone. It's called Kid Danger. And then they go to the phone booth, and that's how they pick up. I don't think so. They're no. in like a cave. But anyway, you had. The, <laughs> do you remember Cooper Barnes? Uh, Liz Stewart's husband? No, I don't. Okay, so Cooper Barnes is a comedian. It'd be, he's the he's the ca he's plays Captain Man on this show, right? My daughter loves this show. I had him on one on one. Can you just pull it up? I think I know. Yeah. What so. Um, where where do we start with this? Do? Where do we start with this? Because there's a reason I was going. Uh, the show that Shrek, she's watching, the Shrek's, fourth one, Shrek's the fifth the one, Trek and Oh yes, yes, yes. So so they just did a, an episode that kind of basically because I was wondering when Makuga said that if people if like the kids would even understand the references is really for the for the adults right that are going to take their kids. Yeah. Is this I'll, the one? Yeah, I'm right. Okay. All right. Well, so they just did one that mimicked all of Stranger Things. And it was yeah, it's Cooper Barnes. And it was very and it was very clever. Um, my wife watched it with my daughter. Loved it because of all the references for Stranger Things. My daughter had no clue what it was, but it became now that was the first time she ever learned about like the upside down or any of this thing stuff was right. through Henry Danger. Really? Henry yeah. Danger is what it's called. So that's why um, it is it is smart to do it that way, your idea. It just depends on what the actual property is that they would do. Gotcha. Gotcha. Agree? Disagree? No, I, I agree. I have never heard us step on you as much as in that last segment that it just took you to get out that thing about Henry Danger. Henry, Henry Danger? That, took, through. that took us way too long. <laughs> and it took too long? I don't think it took that long. It no, was it wasn't your fault. It wasn't yeah, your fault. Yeah, I was fault. trying to go through the... We just all had our own ideas about Danger. About Danger? I was trying to figure out, so... <laughs> I'm just surprised your kid still watches stuff like on television. Mine have completely all on the computer and YouTube now. There's no... They don't watch... Her. How old are your kids? Uh, eight and uh, eleven. So that's older. Yeah, that's, yeah. That's yeah. why. Right? I don't know. I'm just. It bugs me because I want them to watch things that have a story. All yeah. my daughter watches is like families having fun on vacation. I and stuff. Yeah. 
<laughs> I trained. I trained my daughter. I trained my daughter early, though. I took her. The first movie she ever saw in the theater was Frozen when she was like two, and she and still haven't seen it. Frozen. Mm-hmm. You know, she was the thing is I didn't the first movie I ever actually sat through that my dad uh, was like holy shit was Empire Strikes Back mm. the first movie I ever actually sat through. How but old were you? Do you remember? Four, something like that. Four. I um, was I was five. Four and a half, five, something like that. I don't know what year did uh, Last Crusade come out? Eighty nine. Eighty nine. So seven. Do you have another one of those? Like, can we all have apples? I want one. <laughs> oh, you want one? Yeah. Oh. Did you get that by my question? I just was curious. That's not what you asked. You, yeah. you just said you said, do you have another one? I said I do. I'll have it later. <laughs> when you I was want, told I'd be a regular, oh, like I heard there would be apples <laughs> every week. But yeah, I was never promised apples. No. So that must be under your new writer. How do you like them apples? I don't. Um, I'm not a big apple guy. Yeah, forget where you were going with that. Where no, going? Uh, I I don't know what. Uh, oh no! This I is s- the whole theme of no, this fucking I think, show. I think the YouTube <laughs> thing is that is that kids that is their thing. Oh. But I'm gonna I want my kids or kid or who if I ever have a kid, just you're watching movies and TV. Okay? Yeah. I don't know what you're watching on YouTube because you go down a wormhole, and right. that's why I put all the between the sheets episodes to private. That's right, and that's the whole yeah, that, and that's hey, where I was. Yeah, because yeah. he doesn't want between kids the sheets to see is no longer on the internet. I know it's too bad. It's gone. I know. Wow. I, know. Yeah. I was on a well, couple get, of those. Well, it doesn't matter because Matthew Lillard has a title now anyway. Yeah. Um, when we... <laughs> the show was stolen. Everybody's like, aren't you mad? I'm like, no. No. <laughs> Wait, but, but how do we watch them? They're gone. They're, no. they're, they do not exist anymore. But Josh McCougar's show exists. Correct. Right. But no Between the Sheets. No. Why? No. I, there, I asked a lot of questions on that show and had a lot of guests on that show that I don't really care to know the people that they were there. Oh. Oh. So there's past guests that you wish you wouldn't have interviewed. Yeah, correct. You don't have to tell me who, but what? No, like, no, no. Like, I mean, what I think, but there was, was a lot of questions that I asked. No, yeah. no. No. Yes, Roxy, it was you. <laughs> right. It wasn't uh, me because I never was asked. Correct. Correct. <laughs> and, uh, you'll never be on, so it's fine. <laughs> it's, we gotta, Beardo, we by the way, keep up appearances. Beardo's the only person in, yeah. the, in the whole thing that has ever asked me to be on one of the side things. Can I ask you a question? Yeah. Well, you got to um, start in the mind of the Did weeks. I just ask you to be a regular on this podcast? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah but this is bullshit. <laughs> I want those side projects. Oh, you want the side <laughs> <laughs> Can you keep going? Because I, I, I have an idea. And when did this happen? I probably made them private a few months ago. No, not that. Not private. What's wrong with the guests? Yeah. Yeah. Problems with oh, I, there was a couple interviews that I just didn't like. There was a couple. You didn't like that, what you did or what they did? Both. Um, I, I, a lot of the adult film actresses. I don't know. It was oh. just like it was what it was. Uh, there was a lot of episodes that I. The, one of the most popular ones was these two. Uh, I don't know if they even still do a, a show, and they were just not very good guests. I did not like that episode, and it had who like four hundred thousand hits. Not, not guests, not guests. So, no, not names, but who? Yeah. What did they do? They they were it was just a terrible interview. They weren't nice. Who no? What what was their profession? Uh, YouTubers. Mm-hmm. They were That's YouTubers. Cool. I'm not gonna. I, no, no, you shouldn't say yeah. their names. But Wait, can, actresses, can I ask comedians, you a, whatever. And if you don't want to answer this, tell me off air or or never tell me. Did this have to do with Jeopardy? Uh, it, partly, yeah. Partly. Oh, okay. Yeah, that makes sense. Yeah, it makes know, sense. I mean, if there's going to be eyes on me, uh, there was a lot of questions that I asked early on in some of those Between the Sheets episodes that were a little offensive, and I think in this climate... Uh, uh, like, back then it was a little scandalous, but right on the good side of the line, sure. and now it's no, like... it's not. Yeah. yeah. That makes sense. I mean, uh, we've, we've done, we did that for a few Schmoes episodes yeah. as well, too, that we didn't think were... Uh, that back in the day it worked, and I think, that I think we've become, all done that. We've yeah, all said things. Just didn't become appropriate anymore, yeah. too. It's like yeah. certain things that you are, grow up, you see yeah. things, whatever. I, I just still had think, a spit bubble. Did you guys see it? On no, it when I did <laughs> But it reminds me. It came me out of the side of my mouth. Pe- you guys caught it. Peter Pan hasn't caught on to that though, because they still have that scene in the with the with the Indians. They, they, oh, yeah. they, they need to get rid of that scene. Yeah, that's. I mean, funny. I don't get offended by much. Yeah, uh, I was offended by that. I mean, they, scene. they re-released Holiday Inn with the blackface scenes like uh, more they, than once. Yeah, it's tough. I mean, because you don't want to cut it, but it's like uh, Revenge of the fucking nerds. Revenge what, of the nerds. There's yeah. a straight up fucking rape scene. Oh, yeah. oh yeah. And then she do- decides to date him because it worked. Like, is it Animal it, House or Revenge of the Nerds? Revenge of the nerds. Yeah. Revenge of the nerds. And he puts on the. Over his head, and she thinks it's her Pretends boyfriend oh, at the right, time. Right, 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 right. It is yeah. the guy in fucking Animal House. Not. Like, no, I ain't doing this. Right, 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 she's right, like, right. oh, he was so good in bed. Devil and then took right, her home. right, 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 no, right, right. No, no, Revenge of the Nerds. You rewatch that, and it's like, oh. I think right. Sixteen uh-huh. Candles is a little rapey too. Yeah, isn't there's, it? Yes. there's some definitely, right. definitely right. things don't hold up the way. Right. So, does it upset you that you put all that time, money, effort into something that now people can't see? No, not at all. Um I think it was a time in my life that was a lot of fun, and uh, I had I think it really kind of groomed me as far as interviewing people and getting you know my doing my ten thousand hours. Did amazing. Got your chops. Yeah. Thanks. Yeah, yeah, cut my chops, sure. and it's, it's like fine. going on stage. Yeah. Yeah. Exactly. Same thing. Cool. Um, all right. Cool. Well, you can't ever watch those, so do that. 
Um, <laughs> and now, good plug. Good plug. You got it. But he, you can't watch the Josh McCuga show. Yeah. You take his, his style over it's there. It's basically the same show, just a little less. Tell Cranky. me about your sex life. That's right. all. Right. Fair. Okay. Don't get defensive. Yeah. I'm not. Um, all right. Let's, easy, easy. Kid. So. <laughs> Rick, oh, no, right. this oh, is a, don't th- catch he's really trying to get on the show. I know. This is a spoiler. This is a spoiler right? for people. <laughs> this is a spoiler for people. Um, I did not watch the episode. And Do I, you watch the show? I used to. I bailed a long time ago. Yeah. Yeah. Um, me too. So. Rick Grimes. I'm the only one in the room no, that still watches. Yeah. you. You still watch? Yeah. Okay, so you look, do? We're, yes. we're going to talk about Walking Dead. So for those who care and don't want to get spoiled, then you should tune out. If you don't care or you're caught up, then this conversation is for you guys. I don't know how you could have already not got this that's, spoiled that's for you. Kind of, it, was it was fucking it was, everywhere. It was, it was everywhere. And I didn't watch this most recent episode till this morning, right. so I was right. bummed so about Rick that. So Rick Grimes, they've been teasing. This is his final season. Uh, Andrew Lincoln, of course, the staple of the show for since it debuted in, in October of 2010 um, and he has been through everything this character has been through everything he's lost his wife he's lost his his kid he's got a new kid now apparently this kid the, the daughter now who, last time I've Judith. been watching yeah last time Judith I saw Judith it's she was Shane's a baby kid. and now she's like 14 uh, well it was the well. end of the episode There's, they did what I've been saying they should do for the last four seasons a major time jump oh, yeah. yeah. and that's what they did at the end of this episode was that, like literally the time very jump. end yeah <laughs> Turn it back on, you skunks. The, it sounds awful for audio only listeners. Right, it well, does. Can I tell Alex, you where's our I'm apples? Um, I'm hungry too. Where's my apple? Yeah, I didn't have eggs this morning. Um, oh, okay. Don't there want are, Christian hangry. The, the thing about The Walking Dead is that I figured out how to solve the actual Walking Dead problem. And right. they actually kind of took my note from it on this past episode. What they should have done a and long time ago. And it was because ago. they heard it from you. Correct. Well, they started using long spears because of me. So this I know. Uh, <laughs> is that... <laughs> Is that what they needed to do was just dig a giant hole right. and then fill that hole with a little bit of a gasoline and then just keep adding tires to it and keep a everlasting flame going and watch the walkers just walk into the flames and keep yeah. dying they on did. the they cross. Did, they did that in one of those episodes. They, but they never ca- – they, they should never have got just, it. Sh- just keep – But, I mean, the uh, – All around the actual, no, it's just one hole, and they keep going to that one hole away from everything. And they keep falling in there and lighting on fire, and then the bodies burn, and the bodies burn, and they just keep adding tires to the fire. The fire keeps going year in and year out, and then they can live in relative peace of harmony, war with each other, but never have to worry about actual walkers again. Right. I don't think well, that works. It works. E- either way. The, the, the point, the, the point, <laughs> Roxy, yeah. what is? Don't even. <laughs> but the, point, the point of the show for a long time is that there really hasn't been a point of the show. Right. And now, but, I have not felt that way, okay. and I don't understand. But a lot of people... But, but the yes, consensus has yes, been. Yes, yes. So Andrew Lincoln, though, this was this this was the way to get people back was to watch how is he going to go out? How are they going to finally take him out? They've been they've never really said that he was going to die, but it certainly has been hinted that he was going to die and they were going to take him out. That, that was going to be the last thing that he was leaving the show. Well, because you and couldn't what, possibly rationalize why he would leave right, the show right. but not be dead. So right, exactly. So at the very end, apparently. He doesn't die. They, he gets blown up, but then a, a, a helicopter whisks him away, and then the, and then there's an announcement that he's going to be in in movies. Uh, how many? Like a series three. of movies, three, Trilogy. three movies that are going to come out that are going to be specifically for AMC, right? Yeah. Yeah. Um, yeah. I just don't. I think I just don't care. Right. That's the problem. I just don't. I mean, I like Andrew Lincoln a lot, and I like I, Rick Grimes. I, I just don't care. Here's the thing: is I thought his death was a little his non-death. Yeah, his non-death. I thought that scene, I, I would have liked that maybe a little later on in the season because it felt rushed at like in a midpoint of the beginning part of a two-part scene. You know what I mean? It's yeah. like, it, it, it. I thought that it could have been led up to a little bit better. I did love the flashbacks. I actually Why really enjoyed the Why did we dick around the last couple episodes yes. and not build up to this? I no, don't, no. Did something bite you? No, I dropped my phone. Uh, <laughs> We're not supposed to have phones, Christian. We're supposed to check your phones. Oh, no, I didn't. Correct. Uh, I agree with that. I agree. And then also, did I fall asleep or was Coral not one of the flashes? He did not come that back. That was, all right. Do you know why? Did he not want to? No, because uh, <laughs> there, there was a huge Coral. falling out. There was a huge falling out between with the kid. Right. That's what I'm saying. Did he not want? He was pissed. Produ- he was, he, and he his, tweeted and, his dad and said, Wait, and tell his, me. Tell me the story. He so, publicly said some really wait, bad wait, things. Wait, wait. Let me hear. Tell me the whole story here. You so when talk. he gets killed off. Yes. Okay. Um, and Roxy probably knows just when he gets killed off. They told him, you know, months before, like, he sees the script, and he flipped out. Because and he didn't want to die. Did not want to die. Right. And his dad... Well, who and was sh- not expecting to. It kind of... And, and didn't feel like it was right for the story. And Carl doesn't die in the comic books. Right. Uh, yeah. 
okay, but you know, just I'm, saying, I'm not on the kids' side all of so those far. Things, okay. All those things, and then his dad, who's his manager and uh-huh. his like his PR rep, basically was like, you know, they never told my son that they guaranteed us a long term kind of a thing, <laughs> and then all of a sudden they kill him off. It's been seven years. Yeah. Uh, they kill him off, and there was a it was a bad breakup. And they, I, I would imagine they, that they just said, oh, "We don't need a Carl flashback." We've seen he references Carl like thirty seven times an episode. I thought that's why they kept talking about family. You don't need to see your family because we didn't get a Lori flashback either. So what? So this is no where, Lori either. So what does he say? And I would have actually really liked a Lori flashback. Me too. I was waiting for a Lori. Me too. The Sasha flashback was anticlimactic. Oh, so stupid. So yeah. watching Gimple fire my son two weeks before his 18th birthday, after telling him they wanted him for the next, so that's different. Yeah. Okay. So three years. so telling, telling him my they son wanted they him wanted for the next three, three years. years was disappointing. Okay. I never trusted Gimple. Who's Gimple? Like the showrunner, the showrunner, yeah, yeah. or AMC, but Chandler did. I know how much it hurt him, but we do absolutely know how lucky we've been. Okay. So this is different. So we, we've been to be a part of it. This is a different thing. It's not one of those things where they said, like, oh, you know, we'll give you a long run, and, and the, the seven years is part of the long run. This is something right before they kill him off and say, oh, we're going to give you three more years, and then they decide to kill him off. That's a bit. That's is, a, is what he's saying. It, that's what he's saying. Yeah. And, and to me, that's, that's, that's shady. Yeah, that's a bit shady. Mm-hmm. Although they have said that that's not what happened. Okay. So, it, you know, there's two sides of it. Definitely. Sure. 100%. I, I don't know exactly what happened. Yeah. I what I my personal opinion on, on it is the fact that he, there's a little bit of bitterness and resentment towards the fact that he died off and didn't feel like he needed to. Right. And there had been they legitimately didn't think that that's the direction they were going to go yeah. when they were talking to him. It's also got to be scary for that kid because the thing is, he's a fine actor. Mm-hmm. He's fine. Um, he's gotten so much better, so much better. But the problem is, it's now going to be very tough out there. Now you've had this series for a long time. Mm-hmm. He's not like a sawed off, sawed out after actor. No, he's a weird age too. He's at a weird age, and so he that never cut his hair. No, the entire it's show. Very, very scary for someone who's been on a show for this long since you've been a little kid, and now you don't have a gig. Now you either have to try to f- go out there, start auditioning like everybody else. Or make money off social media. Or start drugs. D- d- no. no. Or start or no. D- or start doing something else completely. <laughs> and take some time off. Or it's almost, it right. feels to me kind of like a Cole Sprouse situation mm-hmm. where you need to – he needs maybe two years to re-image himself. Right. Because this right now, he's at the age where he has to be eligible for a Riverdale, a 13 Reasons Why, yeah. a 90210, a something like that. And he just is not – that's just not him. No. It's right. just not his type. Yeah, so I understand where the nervousness comes from. And same thing with his dad. This is money that's been coming in for the last – Ten or seven or eight years, and now it's gone, and now they got to figure out something new, and it's sudden apparently from what they say. That's yeah, tough. I, didn't, but, but, I didn't hear about the couple months yeah, thing. I heard he yeah. had a couple weeks. But, but going back to this, the first big thing was the announcement that Andrew Lincoln's Rick Grimes, the face of the franchise up to this point, will continue his journey in a trilogy of films following his departure departure from the series itself. Gimple and Madden tease a little bit about just where they are in planning and production of the films, but they also talked about the greater Walking Dead universe beyond that and it seems just like about anything is on the table at this point prequels sequels spin-offs more character centric movies guest stars but no fucking cure for the damn zombies uh, <laughs> sorry I wrote that uh, but here's what we know so far first up uh, they said there's going to be features they're aiming to tell and a model that they're basing on and they're just going to continue the story in AMC Studios original films and whatever here's the thing yeah. it's like I, he so he's seriously injured um there, you know. So he sets off a fire to a bridge. Yeah. You think he died? Everybody looks at him, thinks he dies in the fire, yeah. and he ends up washed up somewhere. Which I have major logistic yeah, questions I mean, that about. That just doesn't make sense uh, it, unless he just all dove of into the, the walkers water. are burning right. and yeah. he, whatever. But they tease it. They tease it in the show as if he's dead, right? And everyone thinks he's dead. So it's like when they when you see him yeah, washed well, up, you're you supposed to gasp. All of the characters yes. see mourn I him see. and all of that. Yeah. Then that woman that spoke really stupidly for 15 seasons or Janice three seasons, or whatever, whatever him yeah. finds him. Uh, and but Trashy who McBang. Is I, I called her Trashy McBangs. Cause Remember, she was she the lead of the all heap. women trash heap. Or well, it wasn't all, all women. It was Where he fought the, the Iron yeah, Maiden yeah, yeah, yeah. Like was zombie. All, yeah. When did they find Yeah, yeah, the all women was a different was one. Uh, like a season and a half ago. Yeah, oh, and was, she, oh, she spoke. Do, no, like Yoda, like, kind of, okay. but we, yeah, she would be like, "What happened to the Rick, tigers? The tigers, nice or? Rick to see. No, it is died. nice. Oh. Yeah, uh, you know, up to the up, up, up we go." And then we find out this year she doesn't speak like that. It was no. it was just really stupid. I wonder how the tiger died. The, the tiger, walkers, the tiger walkers. out like made horribly. It, that actually really pained Sons me. The, the walkers edges. got it, and like you watch it, and the king just 
whatever. Right. But anyway, so he washes up. She's about to dit bow on everybody and take this helicopter somewhere and leave. And nobody deuces. knows who's in the helicopter, what the helicopter is about. She's walkie like talkied them, and they're like, "Are you lying to us?" Right. And she's like, "No, I have a B." Bees, not an A. Not an A, a B. And so... And nobody he, knows what any of this means. I have no idea. Okay. So Rick gets in the helicopter with her. He doesn't know he's doing that. She like, somehow right. gets him in. And we see him in the air in the helicopter. Right. Oxygen, his eyes. a fresh bandage, it's, everything. Yep, and she them. says you're going to be okay. Then they're flying somewhere. That's Is it. this the helicopter that was kind of teased yes. throughout this whole st- yes, like, exactly. run? Yes. Because wasn't that helicopter, did like, we see it even in the first season? Well, there was or? another helicopter teased by the guy that we di- that we hate, that we like now, who's the scientist who didn't actually have a no to go to Washington to get a cure. Oh, Remember yeah, that yeah. dude? He's oh, still yeah, with yeah, us. Yeah, yeah, yeah. The, the, Whatever Eugene, the name is. Right? Eugene. No, Eugene. No, Eugene. Thank you. He's been in yeah. studio. Yeah. 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 I, I just forgot his name for a second. Yeah. There's too many characters. Around? Yeah. Good. He's he teased a helicopter at one point too, being yeah. like, that's how we get to Washington or we take this. Not that one, but the same helicopter that's been talked about for the last two years. Right. Okay. Here's the the thing that I'm worried about with, with that clarify? The show. Yeah. Because yeah. I think uh, the perfect. biggest the biggest complaints with this show is that it's just like, you know, because I know that the comic I think that the thing is that the comics themselves Will continue to go on, and that's and they can live in this universe to where there's never a cure, and that's just to how bad humanity is. Yeah, I think that the reason why there's been such a drop with audience is because was there a drop last night or was it? I mean, oh, on I don't, Sunday I don't night? know. I, I'm sure that there was an increase. I didn't. I'm sure there was an increase. Probably. I don't know, but can I'm, we sure pull them that, up, I'm sure that there Thanks. was. I'm sure a lot of people who who hadn't been watching for a while tuned in to see what happened, but. I think the biggest drop came from people who were like, "Well, where's wh- what are we doing? Like, what's happening? Like, there's just it's the, it's essentially the same show every season. Mm-hmm. They find new people that they're gonna be fighting with, or there's a new colony that they're gonna have. I mean, if you told me that well, how this they're now th- building a society within this whole thing, and they've done that before. Yeah. There's been a building of a society before, right. and there's been, they've, they've this done is this the farthest time. they've got along so okay. far. But I mean, I, but the same. It's just like it just it, it, right, but it just happens. There's new yes. evolutions of that, but it's. Yeah. Like I want to see, and I know that I Kirkman said it a long time ago. Never going to see a cure. No. Never going to happen. Yeah. I think that sucks. Yeah, I think there should be something along the lines. Well, that you now should, you know, like game. we said in these next, they are like, check out the next three episodes of The Walking Dead, and. Um, the zombies, they're like, have you ever seen the zombies do this before? The walkers are like, no, I've never seen it. And then you hear them going like, where are they? And they're they're learning to communicate amongst each other. Uh, it yeah. is, yeah, I, I don't love I, I that I kind of liked, but I liked that scene we saw with Judith clearing the pathway for them. I yeah. liked the Carol that we saw. She's Old, just bad Long at, hair Carol. Yeah, long hair Carol. She looks I like the Witcher. I think there is some really cool stuff that could go on. And I really do like the fact that we still have Negan around yeah. in the fucking cage. And yeah. Judith is talking to him. How many years Like, like it's her that? father figure. How many years? Like six they years. didn't say. Six, I don't six years. And he's still in the cage? Oh. Six, six years later, he's also, still in the cage? Well, because Maggie in this episode goes to kill him in the cage and he starts bawling and he is begging her to kill him because he wants to be with his family oh. and so uh, she's way, like this is better than death yeah uh roxy and josh who are probably going to keep watching this show yeah. uh, avoid the mentions of uh of this of this show because somebody spoiled uh some of the story points oh what, for yeah the comic about, book? yeah for yeah. the comic book yeah. you're referencing I, something josh that i i know the answer to i just don't know if you want to like yeah know. yeah it's like i don't know if they're just gonna do straight that. up and i'm like Dude, yeah, come on. I thought comments. Maggie was toast. Also, she made it out. She's alive, but they said she, that she's she's not like her story's done. I think oh. I, I, saw, I read an article of, of her saying like, yeah, she's she's going to be gone for a while too. I think oh. she was because hmm. girls booking like left and right. Yeah, she so, was. She was just I, in the, she was the best part of that Peter Berg movie that just came out. The bad Peter Berg movie with Mark Wahlberg and Ronda Rousey. Thirteen alone. Oh, well, mile twenty two. Yeah. Uh, Thirteen boy. alone is not a movie. <laughs> just so everybody's aware. Yeah. She. <laughs> She her storyline kind of wraps up when she doesn't kill Negan and she's gotten that closure. But what's up with her kid? Yeah, she got a kid now too. Yeah, she's got Glenn. Glenn's kid. I, I think I'm done with this show. Now. <laughs> I, think I'm, I think I'm done. I might I'm, watch I'm the not, movies. I'm not done. No, I, I think I'm done right now. The movies. Yeah, yeah. I think I'm done right now. I don't want. I don't want to hear anything. Would you see no. the movies? It's You're not done. AMC. You're done. I just don't yeah. care anymore. Is, I just now, don't care. That's what's confusing to me. They say AMC Studios. Now, is this going to be like on their streaming it's gonna be, service? It's going to be on TV, be right? On TV, not I don't theaters. No, oh, I, I don't know if they know what their it's, plan it seems fully like it's doing, is. They're doing it for AMC. I, see, I, I don't know. We'll find out. It would out be soon. really stupid to have a movie trilogy of this in theaters, right? Yeah, that would be really. Yeah, you got you got to stick to your audience. Yeah, not, yeah. I don't. I don't think it's a. Yeah. It's People talk about that Game of Thrones for years, right? Game of and, Thrones. And I think and is a that different, has, at least has more. Yeah, I think it's a different animal. I think Game of Thrones actually 
could be served on big screen because there's so much to tell, especially prequels for yeah. Game of Thrones. Like, there's more that there's more like concrete story inside of it. Like, there's there's actual through lines that that happen um, that I think would serve better for a movie than I think The Walking Dead, which you know, kind of seems like they, making it up as they go along. You know, right? uh, Game of Thrones they they toyed with that idea, like right. wrapping up the season, putting a I think it's a trilogy of movies, but yeah. they you know ultimately HBO was like. No, we want everybody to sit at home yeah. right. with their HBO subscription and watch. Yeah. So. Yeah. Unless you do prequels. I mean, you're going to do a... I think you could do that. You could definitely do prequel movies. Like a sure. Robert's sure. Rebellion movie. Dinklage, yeah. Dinklage, yeah. Peter Dinklage, yeah. Peter Dinklage, Peter Dinklage. All right, let's, uh, let's move on here. Um, before we get to... I want Brett to walk around and go talk to some people in the office. Because, Brett, you're not going to have me in your ear today because we don't... Because when Beardo left, he took his uh, he took his headphones. Took his gear? Took all of his stuff with yeah. him. So we we're got to figure that out. Yeah, we got to figure that, that out. That dick. But, so you're going to be, you're gonna be oh, without dairy. me. What I want you to do... Wait a second, yeah. then. How do I know... What? You're just going to go. You're just going to go. <laughs> and you're going to go. We're going we're gonna, we're gonna to try something brand new. Mm. I'm going to let you wander around wherever you want to go. Yeah. And like, you want to interview. So you see somebody you don't know, say, who are you? And just and remember, if you interview Ryan Satin, keep the microphone as far as away far from as his way. mouth. You can always way. ask them about yeah. voting. It's really good. People like when yeah. you ask you who can, they voted for. You know, it's a good who way they vote. And yeah. ask them. You can ask them something randomly. Like ask how them, they feel about abortion. No. Yeah, yeah. Exactly. Ask, exactly. ask them why they think Alex left the wedding. And like and 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 when yeah. they, but but have them come up with it. Do not leave until they give you an answer, and don't give them any backstory on what it was. But also about gay rights. Yes, yes. <laughs> but go see, see see what you can do out there. Also ask them about like fake paternity tests. Yes. Yeah. Yeah, 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 yeah. Pottery. Oh. Ask people if they've taken pottery. Should Jesse stay in the kids' life? <laughs> yeah, 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 yeah. Perfect. Should Jesse stay in the kids' so, yeah, life? So recap the show. Great idea. So recap <laughs> the show through Jesse. the audience, and don't give them any backstory whatsoever. Mm -hmm. So tell us, and so you can tell us who you're standing Is with. Is fatherhood and, more than just, just blood? Yeah. So you can yell at me? Or? No, no, no. You do it yourself. I want to close the door. All right, all right. All right, so go. Go, go have I'm fun. Walking. I've never seen a dude I'm more walking nervous. here. Right. Do you think he goes here. back and listens to this bit? I think we should first go see how Frank's doing. All right. No, he's busy. Oh, no, you're waving or are you busy? Oh, wonderful, wonderful. Oh, I don't have any uh, headset right now, so I'm just, I mean, this is all that. me right now. How you been? I've been good. I've missed you. I'm so excited you're here. Thank you. Thank you. It's great <laughs> to be here. Um, I was wondering, do you think that uh, Jesse should stay in the kid's life or not? Uh, I think that Jesse needs to get his or her shit together. <laughs> yeah. Yes, yes, that's true. That's true. And also, do you think that um, Harloff should have ended up with Ryan and maybe, you know, or Alex. is he Alex. good with his wife right now? Alex! Uh, you know, I think that Ryan, he or she may have been Alex. good for Harloff and we'll never know. Yeah, we what will never happen. know. Yeah, because she bolded. She bolded. Yes. All right. Well, I'm going to keep going um, and uh, you have a great day. Me and Sat. It's like he Not knew horrible. it was a girl guy name. <laughs> Just yeah. didn't know which one. All right, here I am. I don't know what's going on right now. <laughs> Let's see, this so Let's see much. what Roka's doing. This For a dude that's supposed Roka's, uh, oh, looks like he's busy watching a uh, little uh, wrestling. <laughs> we got a Slam episode coming up in a little bit, so just doing a little preparation for it with Ryan Satin. So this is work. This is work. Telling jokes is work, so this is work. Wow, wow. No, I mean, I want to be a part of this. I want to get in on some of this action. You know wrestling? You know pro wrestling? Uh, no, I don't, but I'd get into it if I could do this. <laughs> well, this is only one of the many jobs I have here, but yes. I'm not belittling anything that you do. I think it's you wonderful. Are, Brett. No, I think it's wonderful. Yeah. All right, you're, I'm out of here. Groka. I got to mess with Snyder. He's going to Snyder. What's the hot tip for today? <laughs> Uh, I'm emailing my old camp counselor, Dan Lagana, who created American Vandal. Oh. You heard it here first. Thank you. Hey, Perry, I haven't talked to Perry yet. She's got a standing desk. How you been? I'm doing pretty well because I'm, I'm standing and I feel healthier for it, guys. Oh, and a look to Roka and Snyder. <laughs> um, are you? He has this laugh. Roka. Roka, look at me. You want to come to CrossFit? He's purposely ignoring me. The answer's no. The answer's always no. Oh, Perry. Um, Perry, are you happy that I'm here three days a week? I think so. I don't feel like I see you three days a week. Man, if you could see the smile on her face right now, you would know. Hey, it's great talking to you. Let's go see what the wangers are doing over here. Good They're point. running this show. Good In point. here, I get a camera, too, don't I? Hey, hey, so hey look, actually at me, see look at me, look at me. Hey, we're, we're sitting down. Is, like, are we horrible people for sitting down? I like um, seeing yes, you him. are. According to Perry, no one should ever yeah. sit. Uh, Alex, where were the apples when we needed them? Uh, I forgot to pick them this morning. <laughs> oh, man. Cody Alex is not picking oh, dinner. I need right. apples. I want a fucking apple. Oh, wonderful. I don't have much either. Um, how's it going? How's it? Look at this. This is a great shot right here of everybody in the room just listening to me. Yeah, that's a good one. Um, hey, Beardo, what's Roka working on right now? 
He's still working on his Perfect. Yeah. Perfect. All right, I think I'm going to go back in the room unless Fernandez. there is. No. 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 no, I can't. Oh, I can't come back in the room. Well, yeah. there's people sitting on a give, couch. Give them, dude, give, come back in. Send them there. back in here for a second. Go to the couch. Also, go to the laughing. couch, people. You guys having a meeting? Huh. No. Yes. yes? All right, All right. I'll leave. <laughs> Oh, right. oh, I'm coming back in. Coming back I'm running. I'm running. Right. Right. Here's the thing. Who, How'd I do? So, you're not done yet. Oh, okay. who, who, was, who was in the meeting? Um, it was Jack and somebody else. I don't know. Maybe he was joking. So here's the thing. I want you to like walk in there, though. And like, No, it's like they're on the couch on over the here. Couch. He's so smiling. Sit, so sit next to him and say, what are we talking about, boys? <laughs> and just get in there Ask and have him a about Jesse and Alex. It's not Ryan. It's Alex. Oh, it's Alex? Yeah. 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 Oh, right. I thought there was... Je oh, okay, Jesse. What are we talking about, boys? <laughs> Talking about work, Brett, how are you? Good, good. <laughs> what kind of work aspect? Well, we're talking about new productions uh, for podcasts. This is too are you related? <laughs> <laughs> you have to say he sounds yeah, we just so sound hot. The same. Two different people. Oh, perfect, perfect. Oh. We're separated two by our accent. Man, these guys are a lot funnier Who's than me, one? Christian. I don't know why you have me doing this sort of we're thing. We're funnier than the majority of the crew there in Collider Live. We just oh. have to let them carry on with it, don't we? Oh. That's wonderful. Well, That's English wonderful. So really, you so are hot. having a meeting, or what's going on right here? Yeah, we were having a meeting. We finished it, and now we're talking about uh, English football. Who's that guy? This is That's lovely, Christian. lovely. Roka's over there watching wrestling. You're just chilling on the couch right here. Yeah. This is a great place to work. Someday. And you have to run around and... Sweat your nuts off and just have a terrible day, really. Yeah, the sweating part is it's sad that I am sweating from running from that room to here because that's not a very far distance. <laughs> well, I'll let you get back to it. It was a pleasure talking to you. How am I doing with this mic? Right, you, I'm not going to lie. You're killing it with the mic. I'm, not, I, I, I'm very surprised. Have you done this before? I have not. <laughs> have a great day. All right, here we go. Why didn't he ask about Alex? Around. I thought he was working out in the morning. All right, can I come back? Right, come, out of come back in. <laughs> it's locked! Uh oh. It's a lot. It's a good lot. idea. Oh, All God. Right. It was good. Whew. All right. That second coffee was a bad idea. Who was, who was your favorite interview? Um, I think Frank is always my favorite. Frank's your favorite? He's Who's just, Richard? He is just he seems so genuinely happy to uh, be talking to me. And, you need uh, to ask more questions. Yeah, we just got to get you to get more questions in there. But the question I wanted to know faster. about Alex. Yeah, Alex. I forgot the names of the yeah, people. Ryan. In the, it's yeah. Oh, it was Alex. Alex was the one that yeah. Yeah, it's all right. Oh god, that second coffee was a bad. But it's you, like, you know what? It. Very similar to what Makuga was talking about yeah. before okay? with between the sheets. These were your reps. These yeah. is my reps. So you, we got to get you. We're gonna the, pull the, these. Got to get you the headphones though. We need the headphones. Yeah, we're we'll working that out. on it. Are yeah, you yeah. okay? Yeah. No, I just I'm a little uh, as I call it, cocaine coffeed right now. It's yeah, yeah. How many did you have? Two. The second one, I was telling Makuga while I was making, I'm like, why am I making this? I have two in the morning. Before I leave, I always have two coffees in the morning, and it gets me going. Three, and then I do what you're doing right yeah. now. Yeah, I'm just, I'm just really I saddened by the feeling. fact that yeah. I'm yeah. sweating from just that little jaw around. Just moving around. Lift, yeah. your, lift your arm. Oh, yeah, oh, yeah, nice. Yeah. 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 Not bad. Not bad. Yeah, not bad. Not Good bad. color on yeah. you. Who else? Sure. Yeah. Thank you. Thank you. Yeah, because yeah, is Heroes going on right now? Um, I That's, don't know. No, I Heroes is Wednesday. I, 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 uh, today's Tuesday. Right? I don't want to break into that anymore. Even though it was a joke, it was. Oh, oh, we're doing. We're so far. Oh, we're we're do it definitely again. doing. It. Yeah, I've been thinking about revenge plans. We have not come back at them as hard as I wanted to. Right. All right. Okay. Oh yeah. <laughs> it wasn't personal, by the way. It wasn't personal. Don't worry about it, cops. All right. Um, let's do some. You know, we haven't done it in a bit. We haven't done uh, some tweets. Let's do yeah. an hashtag oh, Collider yeah. Live and let's get some phone calls. Copy Clop Shop and Fot Fot. Can we do those? I so? want an apple. Yeah, we'll uh, figure it out. All right. We're going to do, we're going to do, we'll do a phone call and we will do. Uh, What's the number? To, oh, well, they don't, they flash it up on the screen. Yeah, yeah take a screen grab. What if people are listening? Well, then they got to figure it out. Oh. Yeah. Um, go wait. to YouTube. Yeah, go to YouTube. If they're not listening, how are they going to call in? They just look. They look. It's not a live listen. It's a live watch. I know, but oh. exactly. maybe Thank later you. on they want to call for next time, and then well, they the, don't the know. The number changes every time. Really? Yeah. yeah. Oh. Oh. Well, so yeah, one of the things that you guys should... <laughs> Makuga, yeah. you keep oh, lying. Speaking of which, today at 1 o'clock, Josh Makuga going to face um, the Professor Lon Harris in the Ultimate Schmodown. That's We're doing correct. How'd you do? How do you do? It's going to happen today at one o'clock. Oh. I'm I'm a. Uh, How you feeling? I, I like yeah. to consider, my, consider myself an educator. Uh, I graduated from college, but he's the I'm, professor. I know. I've, I've met many a professor, and I've foiled every single one of them into somehow passing me in every class. Never gotten an F. Never gotten a D. Got a couple C's, but mostly A's and B's. That's not a song. I'm just that's how I'm talking. A B C. I have no fear of Lon Harris. The only thing that I fear is that uh, I don't look as cool as he does with a pipe and tweed it's impossible jacket. Impossible to look as cool as he does. No way. Yeah. No way. He's, but it'll be good. It'll be I good. really yeah. like Lon. Lon's a great dude. Was that really you? Really nice guy. What was it's it? It's an apple burger. The LaCroix? 
Yeah. Should have given Jeez. me your apple. Ring, 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 um, ring, ring. I love, oh, ring. Oh, I love Lon Harris. Yeah, ring, he's ring, great. Lon Harris is one of my favorite people. Awesome. He is he is just such a, he's locked into character. He is he's the best. a funny dude, a smart dude, gets what we're doing over here on Schmodown and just kind of down for the cause, whatever the cause is. One thousand yeah. percent. He is just a uh, he is one of my favorite new additions to the Schmodown over the last year. Yeah. He is, and he's he knows a good cat. so much. He knows so, so much. Yeah, yeah, yeah he's you guys dangerous. so the, yeah, I know. You guys are facing the Harris Brothers on Friday. Is that ben, the Friday? Ben yeah, Bateman, that's right. Yeah. Mark Riley versus the Harris Brothers. The finals of the tournament goes down. So what, two big matches uh, happening. Yeah. And obviously, if you if you haven't seen Ben Bateman versus the Machine, that's also going up uh, today, which is which is our early Patreon match. My man. Mm. Yeah. yeah. Is he now? Uh. Oh. <laughs> we're, we don't know. Yeah. There's no there's no titles. I think by the end of the week. By the end of the week, he'll be locked down. Oh uh, no! How I do don't, you I don't know. Have you guys? Or taking not. a pottery oh. class together. Mm. You should. You should I up. should recommend it. Yes. I know. <laughs> Do you yeah. think, it's not the it's not the uh, couples therapy that would help, but no. the pottery. Pottery. Class. Pottery for sure. Yeah. Oh, who's that? That's, that's uh, we have a phone, phone call. call. That's a phone call. Yeah. Yeah. Do you, you hear the ring ring? No, I know, but I didn't realize that's the thing that we're doing now. All right, so we're gonna. Go, uh, hey, you're a collider. Who do we got? Hello. Hello. You're in collider live. Who do we got? Hi, I'm Mrs. Jose. Hey, Jose. Hi, what's Jose. up? What do you got for us today? Hey, um, I just had a question. First of all, big fan of uh, Collider Live. I listen to you guys three times a week the Thank entire you. time. Live. Appreciate it. Thank you, Jose. What's up? Yeah, I just had a, a, a bit of a practical question, Christian. I know that you're always talking about, you know, expanding the Schmodown and getting it out there for everyone to see and everything. But I just wanted to ask, do you ever think that maybe that's not possible because the actual movie trivia of it all is for a very, very specific audience of people and that... Like a lot of people might like movies, but they can't get into something like the Schmodown because it's like specific and to have fun, you need to know some of the answers. It's a fantastic question. The answer is no. Um, I don't think it's specific because I'll tell you why. The thing is, and I, I talked about this recently, and I talk about it all the time. I went to. There's two audiences that I know that the that the it, the show is, is right for. The first is Comic Con, right? The Comic Con audience is built for the Schmodown. We were walking around. Mm -hmm. We were walking around Comic Con. Maybe one percent of the thousands of people there know of the show, so the reach of the mm -hmm. show hasn't hit that particular audience. That's a, that's a big audience. And I'm talking about Huge. all the cons that happen. The other audience is the wrestling audience, and the wrestling audience alone um, would understand the actual product itself. The third reason why I believe that anybody in general, and why I call it a sport so much, is because. At the live events, I've had many people at the at the events that do not know movie trivia, do not or aren't big movie fans. But it's the excitement of the matches. It's in the, that's why I say the investing of the characters is so important. That's literally me. And that's why that you're talking about. And, yeah. I love the show, and I don't know shit. And it's storytelling. Yeah. That's the whole point of when people say. You should just do it at trivia. Then your point would be valid because it's just like then it's just then you're just pointing at general a general audience. But when you make it mm -hmm. an investment, then it doesn't matter what it is as long as people care and they and they can watch. Because I, I we just had a show we just did something recently. People came in to watch and the match was so good. You're not watching it to see if you know it. You I mean it's an added bonus if you do. But you want to see if the two competitors who you know are better than you, are they going to get it? And that's why mm -hmm. the sports element comes into it. So the other answer is the expansion of the overall brand is part of it, too. TV trivia, pop culture trivia, sports trivia, cooking trivia, whatever it might be. It all mm -hmm. goes. <laughs> there's, there, there's one league that is very esoteric and is not for the major audience, and that is the Wild Berries only league. Right. Okay, what happens is... <laughs> <laughs> Elliot and I host the show. All of the categories are only things that we know. All of the competitors are people that we choose. Love and it. if you don't like it, you can suck it. Right, can I get all. A, I'm sorry. Can I get a it's, cooking it's, trivia yeah. example. Food Network. Who? So the Food Network. You have people chopped. on. The, you have people on the food for particular shows, right? So we just talking about the Walking Dead. Well, what would you ask? Like, how do you? Well, I mean, that, what's I leave it that, I leave that up you... to the experts too. Yeah. I mean, it, it, it's one hundred percent. It's like which who was the, who was the first winner of, of Iron Chef? Who oh. was this? You know, who who did who did this? So it's still entertainment. Yeah. Who was of... the coach of this particular? Who created show? Beef Bergen Young? All like of that, that yeah. stuff. What what it? ingredients go? So for the for, because you make it about. You make it a league in every single thing that you do, but the problem is if you just make it about general trivia, whatever it might be, mm -hmm. right? Whatever it's cooking, sports, movies, 
it becomes dull and boring if it's one thing. But if you have a team, if you have people, if you have things that you can root for, there's investment. And I believe that's why the, the audience grows with Schmodown. But the patrons that are involved are so – I mean, you go to those live events – Every person, crazy. every person that They're I have so brought, great. like friends of mine who are in the industry who had heard about the Schmodown but experienced live for the first time, said, man, these people are invested. And that's the reason why you can expand past people who just um, are worried about movie trivia. People, that, I think that Jose's po point, though, is the initial person. But it's getting those people, though. That's the thing, is it trying yeah. to find those people to say, hey, you don't have to know movie trivia. Watch this episode, and we can hook you. That's, and that's on me to, to build up the marketing budget and everything. Do you 100%. think people are bugged yeah. by your lack of passion about it, though? <laughs> yeah, yeah, right. right. So is that, is that all you got, Jose? You got something else? Um, just uh, what, what's your favorite flavor of LaCroix? Just interested. Uh, right now, um, <laughs> apricot and, um, and I would say the watermelon um, berry one is my favorite. Kiwi too. watermelon. <laughs> Kiwi watermelon. Yeah, those are my yeah. favorite. Don't encourage him, Jose. Where's the berry? Thank you, Linus Babcock, by the way, who got me this wonderful That's mug lovely. with LaCroix. Thanks, Linus. Yeah. There's no berry in kiwi watermelon. No, it wasn't kiwi. It was kiwi and uh, lime. Whatever the fuck he just said it was. That's I what it was. I said oh, kiwi, watermelon. kiwi and watermelon. Where's the berry? Thanks, Jose. I was wrong. Oh. Thank you, guys. Thanks, Thanks, Thanks for calling in, Jose. No. I appreciate it, buddy. Thank you. Thank you. Well, right, thank you. Is there the cherry lime? Yeah, I like that one. That's the one you like. Yeah, that was interesting. Thing to mix cherry and lime. Whoever thought of it? Mm -hmm. It works. Yeah, it works. Uh, you want to do another call, or what do you want to do? Are we almost done. What yeah. time is it? Yeah, so we got about fifty. Yeah, we got some time. We got some do another call. I, I like that. I like those phone calls. Let's do let's some phone calls. Let's take your yeah. calls. Yeah. yeah, let's do it. Uh, uh, you want to take a question? Yeah, go ahead. What do you got? What do you got? Uh, from Broom Kid. So oh, nice Broom Kid. Uh, what movie so far is your front runner for Best Picture Oscar? Mm. Is yours Bo Rap? No, because I know I because I'm not gonna. Front runner who you want or front runner who you think? Yeah, front I think what people are talking about. Talking about? I would have to say Star is Born right now, right? Yeah, because yeah, I didn't even see it yet, but I still haven't seen it. Nah, yeah. still haven't wow, seen it. Wow, wild. I know. I know. Sometimes too much time passes and it just like doesn't happen. I know. That's the problem. I keep trying to see it and every time. I was going to go see it last week, um, but the problem was then another meeting came up and I was like, that's ah, too late. I'll get home like at 12 o'clock if I go and see it now. So couldn't do it. Waiting for the screener to come. We'll see. Yeah. But, I think you'll like it. Uh, Bohemian Rhapsody is. Probably one of my favorites of the year, yeah. for sure. But I'm not going to fool myself to think that it's going to get nominated for Best Picture. For some reason, a lot of critics didn't respond to it. I yeah. loved it. Me Fans too. seem to be really responding to it, and I'm yeah. glad because it's a great movie. It I really thought is that I was movie. really going to like First Man more. I didn't. I'm really looking forward oh. to Green Book. Yeah, Perry um, really liked it a lot yeah. too. And I'm I'm very much looking forward to Bohemian Rhapsody for sure. Yeah, I Someone love that. Someone seen movie. Mid 90s. I hear good things. I like really, Mid 90s. It was really good, but yeah. not Oscar worthy. No. Okay. no. How about Eighth Grade? Is that Oscar worthy? I thought it was no. really good, but also. Not Oscar, yeah, know, just, not Oscar yeah. winning worthy. Yeah, okay. Just got Oscar Black nominated. Kingsman, Black Klansman. Kingsman, I said Black Klansman. Black Klansman. Yeah. I thought Black Klansman definitely should get nominated. Black Klansman yeah. was so effing. Yeah, good. I have it at home and watch that it's one too. Unbelievable and, oh, yeah. and sickening and, and amazing. Can I buy that one when you're done? Yes. Thank if you, you watch it in the studio. Are we allowed? Okay. You know what? Ask Perry if we're allowed to announce. Who our guest is going to be on Thursday? Can you go ask Thursday? I mean Wednesday. Somebody. What? No or Thursday. For, there's for somebody. What? There's someone coming in on Thursday. For what show? I can't say yet oh. until I get the permission from Perry that I can Let's say. Come on. Something to talk you want to take the microphone? Uh, just, just ask her if I can say it. I, I have can't legitimately. I I've been trying to reach out to anybody in the Will Smith Martin Lawrence camp to see how you can get we on. can get him in here somehow. Well, I should have said anything about the too. movie. No, it, I mean I'll, like, it'll just you be yeah. just you. Yo, and yeah. Will, I, I'll do you the favor of coming on your YouTube channel yeah. if you come right. on ours. Apparently, Amanda, when they put the Bad Boys for Life or something up, she commented in the section like my husband and I have your slogan on our wedding rings and Will Smith liked no. it. Okay. Right. Whoa. So yeah, I'm not sure. Yeah, okay, apparently I can't I can't say anything yet. So but we will. We'll, that we'll is huge. Yeah. When we get we'll, we know. <laughs> yeah when I we feel get like there are thousands of people watching live. Why aren't they calling in? They're scared of us? Uh, I don't know. I don't know if they flashed the number up. No, they're just it's blinking it's in busy there. Right they're waiting. Now. Yeah, it's yeah, busy. No, no one's really getting through. Oh uh, no one's getting through. It's just mm -hmm. busy. That's what everyone happened. stop calling and then yeah. call back in. Yeah. Yeah. Um all right, there's Bitches. something else I wanted to bring up. What comes out? So we got Overlord that comes out. We got the... You want to see The Grinch tonight? You said you saw it. Yes, like I it? can't talk about it yet because oh. it's still embargoed until tomorrow. Uh, oh, I got to get that right. Is that not a good sign? Or, um, no. Okay. Okay. Cover Bunnies was on Fallon uh, last week. We got to call, guys. Oh, we got to call? Oh, yeah, let's right. take a call. Hey, is he on right now? Yes. Hey, oh, you're, on, you're, you're in yep. Collider. Who or we got? Oh, maybe not. Hello? 
Bueller. Caller? Bueller. Oh, uh, they hung up. Oh, oh, no. too late. Oh. That's fine. Hit us with another one right now. Yeah. Um, so the... we were going to talk about Benedict Cumberbunnies. Cumber Bunny. Cumber Bunny. Bunny. Cumber Bunnies? Did, did you remember Cumber Bunnies? No. It was like the little mini uh, Cumber Buns for like kid oh. tuxedos. Oh, oh, okay. There you go. Uh, so, uh, but he was hysterical on Fallon. They did this game where it was like, try not to laugh. And it was just basically us watching fail videos. Oh, okay. And it's, it was really good. I Can you? You brought Dude. it up. I want to bring it. You haven't seen it yet? No. Uh, Cody or Cops, or can you bring up that video I showed you today? It's just called, it just, it, Makuga, cl- close your ears for a second. Okay. Can you do that? Just close your ears. Put just the, the uh, it's just put in Dancing Cat. Let's uh, give them something oh to talk yes, about. I wonder why that's stuck I, in your no, head. I don't like I don't like these videos normally, but this is this Let's is give not catty. Go down, Go down. Little mystery to figure out. All right, here's a showdown question: Who starred alongside where Julia Roberts in something to talk about? Where the hell is it? Uh, it's, it's anybody. What year was it? Anybody? Nineties. What the hell? Uh, What's happening? It's not Hugh Grant. No. I don't know where I can find it. All right, well, who was it? Dennis Quaid. Ooh. Looking for Dennis Quaid. Singing. Thanks, try singing. Try singing. Um, I found this video the other day. It was with. What my, are we looking for? It's this video that I, there it is. It's the third one. Mm-hmm. All right, so Makuga. Did you find it? Not yet. We're, okay. we're playing it. Uh, just, yeah, the ads are going to come. The volume's going to go up. And this is for for all you out there who are just going to be able to hear this on the audio. You're not going to see it. And uh, Makuga's reaction is really what we're going to get up to. Okay. So, all right, so let's get the volume up. Makuga, just do full headphones. full screen, please. Yeah, headphones, please. Full okay. screen. Oh, singing cat. Yeah. <laughs> that person's hand is yeah. creepy. <laughs> Watch the guy's hand. Watch the guy's hand. It's the best. <laughs> it stops. <laughs> Cat's so confused, doesn't know what to do. <laughs> I don't get it. This is, wait, no, wait, wait, this is the best part. Stops. <laughs> Roxy, remind me never go to a comedy with you ever. I'm the yeah. worst. My, what do you laugh? I don't get do the animal stuff. At I laugh at tons of things, but no. not the animal videos. Why is no? that funny? You don't think that's funny? That is. Are you kidding me? I, it made me smile more than other ones. <laughs> You, it was because the way he did his neck was yeah. kind of funny. Yeah. Uh, you were looking not to laugh, though. No, uh, I really try. Do you every do time. that sometimes? Do you do like. If no, I, people... I never. Okay. I, I so... try to laugh. I have, showed, I have showed upwards of 50 people the Mexican firework hammer. Oh, everyone laughs. That one's really sad, and I don't. I really don't fucking like that one. It, first of all, it's not sad. It's fine. The guy's alive. Yeah. yeah but it's not a big deal. Think about like what they're doing there and how many people aren't alive because of that. Yeah, but really that, but they're not getting tortured with the fireworks. This is something they enjoy they're doing. Like they're doing fireworks. because they're not. They're that's like an uh, an ignorant thing to do. That's an uneducated. You could kill yourself. It's stupid. It's a waste of a human life. Like it just was. Sad. It's sad. Right, but you enjoyed it. You showed people <laughs> the video. That's not how you feel. It's not. It's not. They're choosing to do it. Nobody is going with that right, with the sledgehammer. You, you saw the girl that shot her boyfriend because he asked her to it, through the chest. Did you guys see this? No, yeah, I, heard, I, I heard about it. Okay. Didn't see it. Sad. Right? They're right. choosing to do it. It's still fucking sad. Okay, but he didn't die. Yeah, but he could Can you have. tell me what the hell happened? Uh, so <laughs> <laughs> I showed so well, upwards of 50 tragedy. people. He yeah. didn't yeah. die. Like anyway, 49, <laughs> 49 out of 50 people are dying <laughs> with me. Yeah, 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 yeah. Yeah, that, that video is one of my Who's favorites the 50, of all me? time. Yeah, you're I'm the, the one. one. Yeah, yeah. yeah, it was. I mean, that, it's your reaction to these things <laughs> is the, uh, it's the best. He, he's waiting for you to play a concert. I laugh at stand up. You know? Yeah. Okay. That's good. But not, But not videos. Mm, yeah, not not ones where people are getting hurt. Did or you animals. curse? Did you curse at the screen every time uh, Bob Saget would come on with America's Funny Some Videos? Do you hate that show? No, I I, I like some things with that. Uh-huh, they're bringing man. that kids, show back. Kids can be funny. It's already it's never left. It's it went to Tom Bergeron. Oh, it's they bring it back with him. Is that no. what it is? Well, I don't know if they're bringing back I don't him. Know. I Carl, laughed at the fact that he was the host of that. Alfonso show. Ribeiro is the host of it. I do He's find that stumbling. a Across these kind of things, I laugh more yeah. than when you guys go, "Hey, you gotta watch this! Turn, crank your neck around to feel right. strain." Have and then, you yeah. have you seen the, the hammer? I've seen the hammer. Well, I seen the hammer. It's not. I oh, mean, I, I love it. It's, it's fucked up. I mean, give me a kid falling down on his bike any day, but uh, there you go, Makuga. 
Yeah, oh. this is my bro this right here. So bad. Yeah. Oh. Yeah. boy. Boom, here he comes. It's, this he, is my road really, dog. He's really set up. Oh, he? man, watch him go. Look, he's wearing the, the proper protective no, gear. I don't like it's it. It's the proper protective gear. Yeah. yeah watch. <laughs> <laughs> Google I'm loves over it. you. <laughs> all right, all right, all right. I'm over you. <laughs> McCougar loves it. Look at him. McCougar could do this. Look at him. Look at him. He, he, just, <laughs> he just loves it so much. He just like a. Uh, like a he loves it. Uh, at least he just hits his yeah, hand. He loves it. I think okay. they keep killing our All right. Do we have any? Like do we have anybody other? Though. Any other callers here, guys? Negative. No, it's really backed up right now. It's backed up. All right. Look. Yeah. We're gonna call it a day. Uh, it was fun. Roxy giving me the stank guy. I'm just not happy about it. <laughs> He's fair. <laughs> I didn't make him do that. He rapped. Do you think it's funny? And why, why does he post that? Because people like you think it's funny to get attention. Maybe he likes the attention. Maybe he knows I think he does like the attention. That's why he does that. It's sad. He could kill himself. You're a terrible person. <laughs> and with that, we wow. are going to sign up. We'll be back tomorrow. Wait, real quick. Yeah. On, everybody go to Instagram right now yes. and check it out. There is a garbage person uh, giffy that you can put on your stories. Oh. Is that true? Uh, yeah. Yours? I just found it this morning. Yours? No, I, I didn't put it up yet. Oh, think... no, but is it is it a view? It's, you can you can go on. Why isn't it just a gif? A story. Why is it a giffy? Gif, giffy, same right. thing. But it's you. Uh, no, no, it's just the thing, garbage person, and it moves. Oh. Yeah. Roxy was in such a good mood at the beginning of the show, and now look at it just... Now, but she's like, you ruined her life. Because she's trying to ruin simple people's enjoyment of fireworks. And with that, we are out. It is Collider Live. Riley, who's our guest tomorrow? Uh, no one. Perfect. No one will be in got studio. A great show. Going to la- learn how he got his name, why he's there. Brett will be back. McCougar will be here. Roxy Stryer will be back. Fuck yeah. And the whole Wang crew, sensitive. minus Beardo. And we'll see you tomorrow. <laughs>